dungeons and dragons. And junk drawer. Hi. What's up? How are you? Doing well? What's your D&D character? Oh. You're not playing? Why? <laughs> Fucking jocks. Stupid. Go throw a football, you goddamn We're the RPGers, jock. bro! Coolest kids in school. We don't even ever get kicked out. Never. Almost. But hello, okay, we're back for episode whatever. Yeah, episode this one. Yeah. yeah. 50... Something. 3, maybe? 54. 2 yesterday, 1 today, yeah. It was would be 55. 55. 55. Yeah, because 51, yeah. Cool. 50-something! 50 50 55. Yeah, that's yeah, why I said 50-something, 50 50 so we're here. Yeah, we're here. Pat, if you want to recap. Well, last episode, a lot of just character building, a lot of somber goodbyes. Uh, Rufio gave Shart his inspiration or his fuck energy from Esmeralda By uh, to hopefully get uh, help Shart out in a bind uh, because Shart gave Thok his potion of invulnerability, um, which we'll have when we're sitting across from Strahd von Zarevich. Um, Absidy and Irina had a lover's quarrel. And she said that she's going to storm the castle with Ismark. And Absidy's not super pumped about that. So we will see what ramifications transpire. We are going to start with our Dusk Elves mission. And DM, whenever you're ready. Sure. Okay. So, um, you guys... Do we want something playing up there? Yeah, let's do it. What do you want playing? Uh, you can do Ravenloft. Ravenloft? Okay. <gasps> then go ahead. Spoopy. It's for real. Bum, bum, it's bum. happening. Good luck, guys. I, I filled this with two, two twelve. May the odds forever. May the dice rolls be high, and your death rolls be low. Uh, uh, clink, 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 clinky, clinky. Yeah, I put two bottles of beer in here. Smart. Thank God it holds that much. Smart. Smart. Here we go. You could have started. I was just getting that going. No. We cheers and and you cheers. Prayed. We cheers to our dice rolls be high and death rolls be low. Wait. Harumph. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. I know what you meant. Yeah. Death, death rolls be minimal. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So we are all in this tent. Uh, Wizard Steve is going to kind of be off into the corner. Like he's ready to like, he's like, all right, dudes. Um, so, Thok, Rufio, after a while, you get your assigned. Who all is going on the mission with you as their counterparts? Uh, we are going to take, uh, obviously it'll be Thok and I. Yep. Uh, Dirt is going to go with Absidy. Okay. We are going to bring with us uh, Irwin. Who will be Irwin's going to be? Who will be Shart? Okay. Irwin's Shart. And we're going to bring Vasaya. Uh, no, we're not going to bring Vasaya because she can't change her voice. Okay. Or at least sound deeper. Um, Gray. I don't. I want to give Gray to them. And we'll bring... Who else was with us? Casimir? Esmeralda. Cas uh, we'll bring Esmeralda and she'll be Absidy. Esmeralda will be Absidy. Okay. We'll do you need a dirt? I th I mean, we do, but I don't know who could who we have available to us. I mean, you have... Going? Casimir was going to go find his sister. Casimir's going to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's right. not going with you. It's also not out of character for you to say you don't want dirt to come with you. Well, well what dirt if isn't going with him. No, for the well, dinner. No, but for the dinner. That's the thing, is to say, like, he didn't even want to bring dirt with him. He wanted dirt to stay outside. But he saw dirt he traveling saw dirt the entire time. Us. Yeah, but to say you t you had dirt stay outside the Amber Stay with the horses. Yeah. He's your ward. So you but then we have to have dirt doing. there, because he could see that. Or we yeah, have, he would look for dirt. We can have a random werewolf look like a door, or a random werewolf raven, or a random We'll have Messiah like stand by the horses. As dirt. As dirt. Okay. Messiah will be dirt. And just make sure that Esmeralda doesn't talk a lot. Talk a lot. Yeah. Talk a lot. So, as you kind of give Vasaya her order, she's like, I will be outside with the horses, but the minute I hear something, I am shifting. And I am going to protect my people. This isn't really a negotiation. You can pull rank on me all you want. They're my people. I understand that, but this is... We know that there's going to be sacrifices made. I don't know if I'm coming out. You know where I stand. She puts on the hat and turns into dirt. And she goes outside. Anything you guys want to say before you leave? To your boys? To dirt? You have Basically, it's just this side of the table. <laughs> so I'm just going to 
Go over here. <clears throat> Good luck. And, uh... I'll see you on the other side. And I, I stand up and walk over to, to Rufio and do the, uh... Like the, the bro clasp. Yeah. Have a nice dinner. Fight hard. Stay quiet. Shh. And then I just pull everybody in and just want to gather everyone together and just be like family family hmm. here we go let us know if it gets sketchy we'll do the same for you and dirt actually has that fifth necklace it was made for him stay safe back at you and as we uh, as we walk out, go up to, to the dinner, I'm, I'm going to be fully armored and stuff, mm -hmm. but I'm going to kind of let Thok get a couple steps ahead of me, and I'm going to push my necklace in and uh, just, just go to dirt mm -hmm. and be like, uh, hey, um, I know I'm not good at this part, but I love you, dirt. And... After a few minutes, do you hear? I know. I love you. I'll see you soon. And as we're walking up, I'm going to change my hat of disguise to look formal. I mean, still go. dead still, self. But you guys are still clinking, but you're in like, dude. I have boots of elven kind. Boots of elven yeah. kind. So I'm in armor. I want Shad to know, and then I'll. That you're ready to party. Yeah. Okay. He does. I don't. I mean, okay. I don't have a choice. <laughs> so as they walk off, uh, after a few moments, I need you two, <laughs> you three, to make uh, con saves as you're being teleported to <clears throat> oh, so your dusk elf boys. Dusk elf boys. Yep, dusk elf boys. You don't have to make one. You're not being teleported. Am I not? No, you're absolutely. Oh, you're there. That's not great. You're not a dusk elf. I oh. thought I was teleported up top. Not yet. Not yet. They're oh, coming okay. into the tent. We're first. coming to you first. Gotcha. Seven. Con? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, wait, this Thok. is Thok. <laughs> Five. Okay. <laughs> 12 plus something, it's loading. Sorry about that. 13, 14, maybe? Probably switching. His con might be high. Yeah. I know there's at least a plus one. Two. Plus two. 14. Okay. Save? So, yeah, plus two. <laughs> All three of you, you see Wizard Steve, he's like, I'll be right back, dudes. And you guys are kind of, like, ready with the rest of the Dusk Elves. There's about, like, six of you. Uh, not including you, so there's nine. Uh, Casimir will make ten. Uh, so, as you kind of go, Wizard Steve's like, all right, guys, if you feel queasy, we're going to start, you know, just make sure you're ready to go. You've got, like, throw-up bags. you got, and then pop, like, while he's talking. Uh, when you get back there, you're under this tent. It just feels like your stomach lurches all the way up to your throat, and you have to literally swallow it back down into your stomach. And the minute you guys get to land, you all look at Absidy, and you just... Hmm, and you all failed your con saves as you all puke. Good. That, Get it out now. That is not a pleasant sense of travel. Casimir is going to approach all like of you. That. <laughs> Casimir is going to approach all of you. He's in his garb. He's been keeping you occupied. Yes, sir. Occupied is the word to use. Do we like kneel, bow? Is there a thing we do for Casimir? Yeah, I feel like you would kneel, you would kneel. I wouldn't. Kyrian be like, finger guns. So everyone has like their kind of like nod, and Kyrian's like, sup? So, uh, Casimir is. We have to keep our eyes on the prize. Of course, it is to defeat Strahd, but. The sword. We have a shot at the last of the Dusk Elves, the females. We can bring our people back. My sister. So do we follow you or the little one? We'll be working together on this unit. You're a little, obviously a little more stealthier than I am. Fine. But you know where our allegiances lie. First and foremost is my sister. I understand. I understand that you have... Dirt has been telling me about this sword that you've been looking for. A trinket. It's more than a trinket. It's what we're going to use to defeat Strahd. 
This and, is our and, race. This is our kind. And that's not going to matter if Strahd is still here. We have two goals. I'm not ignoring your goals. We will get your sister, but we will also get the Sun Sword. I've been showing you all pictures. You know what it looks like. You know what we're going for. That is the key to us succeeding tonight. And I know some of you don't like me, but I have nothing but respect for you. And we'll come out of this the other side if we work together. Well, I do appreciate that you've shown us all the different pictures and illustrations of the sword, so at least I have a good understanding of it. There's a good chance I could try and locate it once we get into the catacombs. Good. If that works, it might make our job easier of being able to find your sister. If we can get one thing out of the way, it means we only have one thing to worry about. I agree with that. Well, let's get ready for this, I guess. And you see kind of like neck crack and Wizard Steve looks at you and he goes, before we yeah, pop and sure. transport, Valiant's going to go over to Kyrian. Mm-hmm. Don't forget whose side you're on or you're no better to us than a dwarf. And with that, do you want to say something rebuttal? No. Okay, everyone roll con saves as you've been teleported. Oh, <gasps> yes! Oh, fuck my life. Mm. Natural 19. Natural 19. 11. Modded 20. 11. Okay. 7. 7. 7. So, the the Tower of Ravenloft, the Spires, where you kind of seen and you've heard, Shart, at least you're not there, but you've heard, like, the smacking of the rain. It is like a typhoon overhead of this castle, and it's a little hard to stay on. When you get in, it's, like, full just wet and it's like you have to yell to talk over and wizard steve has like little goggles on he's like all right dudes i'll be up here for the drop zone i'm gonna do the other berserkers and we're gonna get them back in i'm gonna keep eyes on you but i'm not gonna do like anything else just keep everything go simplify uh go mets and then pop (laughs) and you're outside of the spire whoever so failed your saving throw you're you throw up again but uh, I need everyone to now. make a strength save to see if they can stay on the roof. Ooh, strength save. Not great. Oh, oh that's... Oh, no. Can I use dex instead? You can use dex. I'll let you do... Yes. I'll let you guys use Oh, dex. that didn't help at all. Oh, we can use dex? Yep, use dex. Oh, that's still not great. Ooh, that's guys... 20. Not 20? Yeah. Okay, so you're able to... What'd you get? Five. What'd you get? Ten. What'd you get? Nine. Okay, so you see Valian and you see uh, Kieran start slipping by as the, the water is starting to, like, they can't kind of catch their footing. And you actually see two of the other Dusk Elves fall off of the side of the the castle. As you see, both of you guys try to struggle on. If you guys want to try to make uh, deck saves to see if you can stay. What's up? Is, is there a spire or anything I can tie rope to? On the spires on the, uh, I would say or like it's, like a poke, like a rock. There's like a post, yeah. You can attach uh, a rope to the post. Okay, as I see them falling, mm-hmm. I take out <sighs> my rope and I tie it there and I throw the rope to them okay. so it can help them stay on. Okay, so what did you get as your dex? Natural 20. <laughs> okay, so you're able to kind of stay on and this rope is coming Modded towards 15. you. Modded 15. And you're able to latch on and you grab on while you're, the heels of your feet are actually coming off of the roof as you grab onto this thing. So, slowly but surely, you kind of all kind of grab on. I go for the rope as well. To yes. And so, you have Casimir, uh, your three boys, and you have, we said nine, Dirt. so seven, and Dirt. Dirt has been able to kind of latch on to the, to the rope as well. There's this very small kind of window that, as you peer in Absidy, you can see is a spiral staircase just that just goes down. So, there's uh, two just... Generic elves? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so everyone, we're, we've walked in now? You you have to open the, you have to smash open the window, or you can undo the window. You're all on the roof right now, getting okay. smacked with this water. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me, let me check for traps on the window. Okay, go ahead and roll uh, investigation. Lucky. 18. 18? You don't see anything. Okay, so sleight of hand, undo the window. Okay, go ahead, uh, sleight of hand check. 19. 19, and you're able to jimmy that motherfucker off, and everyone's able to slip in one by one. Everyone's soaked to their core. You know, Casimir kind of just spits out some water. Okay. Now what? Go down to the catacombs. Okay. 
We'll go down to the catacombs. So, what? Uh, what's the march order? Um, you, you leading? Yeah, Absidy would lead, followed by Casimir. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, they can decide how what order they would want to go in. I would imagine like that. Yeah, since you're following probably. Casimir. The two other dusk elves, and then we'll say Dirt's in the back. He is uh, doing point. Mm -hmm. So, buried deep beneath the keep of Ravenloft lies an ancient catacomb, which, with arch ceilings supported by wide hollow columns that double as crypts, cobwebs hang from lank, limp in the musty air. Uh, a thick fog clings to the floor, which is covered in a putrid race. A waste. The black ceiling is moving. Welcome to Castle Ravenloft, guys. <laughs> so, Are we here? You're... Yeah. You'll be here in like a few moments. You could just do it. So this will be your catacombs. But you're going to come from this. So as you're going down, um, it's just a very long spiral staircase. And you can see the other kind of like hallways of the the other three floors. If everyone wants to make a stealth check for me, see if we can pass. I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace okay. on the group. Okay. So that's everyone in the group gets a plus 10 to your stealth. For the next 30 minutes? For the next hour. Oh. Okay. Well, we have to be within 30 feet of you. You have right. to be within 30 so feet of Which we all are. Dirt. Yes. Because okay. he's with us, right? Yes. So put dirt there. So that's a plus 10 on top of what your plus already is, right? Yes. Is this Casimir? Who's who? Uh, I didn't put Casimir down there yet. So, we'll Absidy, the armor. this isn't Casimir. Okay. This is going to be Casimir. Okay. So we have an extra one. Casimir, me, you, Mike... And then we'll do two. No, elves. we have a random elf, a random elf, and oh. dirt. So we need one more. Yeah. I can. You can use one of mine because I just have a dude there. that's sitting here. And then we'll use this guy. I just have. You know what? We'll use this as Casimir. Oh, there you go. So just use the other one. Uh, yeah. I'll grab my other random elf. New Casimir. No, we're good. Oh, okay. We should be good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So everyone obviously is going to pass their group self check. What'd you get? 35. What'd you get? 36. What'd you get? 29. What'd you get? I didn't do a stealth check yet. Sorry. Uh, 10, 20. 20. And then Dirt got a 15 and the rest of the elves got a 19. So you all relatively are able to, you see uh, Valiant kind of mutter to himself and he draws these archaic symbols in the air and the shroud just kind of envelops the group of you as slowly but surely you go down. Um, doing so, kind of going up the railings of the um, spiral staircase. You see a swarm of bats just like chirping and screeching as it goes up uh, as you slowly go down and forward. Okay. So. Um, yes. Oh no, I was just going to say about the bats. This place is a bit eerie, don't you think? Shh. Okay. So, slowly but surely, you all go through this kind of archway, and you're all in this area right here. And amongst you, you see crypts all over. You, It's safe to assume you're in the catacombs. <laughs> Little party. Okay. Um, so, each slab is about three feet wide, five feet tall, three inches thick. So, we, we can just start moving. Where do we want to go? Uh, I'm going to look to Kyrian. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Kyrian, can you locate it? I could certainly try. Um, so let me bring up the spell real quick. Just give me, give me a moment to try and concentrate on this. As he's doing that, mm -hmm. I break up the party into different groups. Uh, we have two casters, correct, who can do the, the, um, what's it called? Pass without a trace. Pass without a trace. It stays on you for an hour. But only when it's we're only. next to the you caster. Have, you have to be within 30 feet. I thought it was only when it was cast. Uh, let's find out. Each creature you choose within 30 feet of you has a plus 10. Checks can't be tracked except by magical means. Receive the spell. Yeah, I think you need to be within 30 feet of me. The way I'm reading it. For the duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity stealth checks. It was that 30 feet of you when it was cast? It doesn't Or at all times? Say. That's a DM question. Yeah. What was the question? Pass without a trace. Pass without a trace. Now that I've casted it, mm -hmm. do they all get it or do they have to stay with me? It's within 30 feet of you. Okay. Okay. So we'll use you. we have to use you as a center point. Turn for it. So I'm going to take, uh, what's your name again? Valian. When 
Well, I'll wait until you you do locate. Okay, so what I do is I take a stick out of my hair that is forked, and I just kind of hold it out, and I concentrate to try and cast locate object. Um, it will, and I say, find the sun sword. Sun sword. And I just kind of hold the stick out to try and guide me to the area of that object. Now, it's got to be an object that I have seen. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, I'm second-handing it, so I'm sure this is a little bit weakened. But if it's behind any thickness of lead or, you know, blocks, there's a possibility it's not going to work. Okay? Okay. So, if you think it's worth a shot, do it. I think if we can save time and not search through all of these, help out Shart and his team, and take down Strahd, we need to do it as quickly as possible. Okay. In that case, I fully cast Locate Object. Okay. As you do so, the stick kind of like... it. So you're just... Your arm is just kind of moving with it as you're moving forward. So what else are we doing? It's not going to go right out and point okay. at it yet. Okay. With all due respect, I think splitting the party makes next to no sense. There is strength in numbers. I know we are pressed for time, but strength in numbers. We're not splitting the party. It seemed like we were. Don't jump to conclusions. And as I Lead say that, we better. start walking. Valian. What? Nothing. Casimir just said his name. Oh. Um, so you, Kyrian is now leading. He's leading, uh, to kind of guide for the, for the sun sword as he's going back and forth. So we're going to stealth forward Mm -hmm. and just a couple steps at a time, see if it gets any closer until we get a, a reading. So let's see here. Here, Let's just do one piece just so it's easier. I was going to say, we can just do, yeah, Um, uh, kill him. So as you kind of. You kind of pass this stone here, and it looks like it kind of jerks you a little bit to the right. I'm going to actively be listening for anything that doesn't sound. Any movement. Uh, everyone make uh, perception checks. Uh, 15. 3. 18. 11. Okay, so you two hear kind of a creaking in the cr- in that particular crypt as you see Kirian just kind of like... Uh, Valian is going to knock an arrow mm-hmm. and pull it back quietly and turn slightly. Okay. We'll ready. If anything is to come out, uh, he will let an arrow go. Okay. I'll do the same thing with a dart. I'll have a dart in my hand. But I'll just point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, as you guys kind of start moving forward, you hear, like, um, a soft crying. Uh, And when you look, you see from the darkness coming a horrifying visage of a spectral elf maiden twisted by the horror of her undead existence. She wails and the very sound claws at your soul. The three of you and Casimir recognize her. She is actually uh, Petrina Velikonova, which is one of the female Dusk Elves that disappeared from long before your war with Strahd. And it seems to be her her spirit just kind of wailing. You also know that she was, uh, she delves with the black arts quite often. Is that something that happens sometimes when you deal with the things that she's dealt with? You know who that is? Yes. That's Petrina. She was a purveyor of the dark arts and messed with things that she maybe shouldn't have best to avoid if at all possible like probably most things in this crypt agreed and and whereabout is she oh she's right above the crypt 
Mm -hmm. Or the the thing. Okay. Do we have to roll stealth because we're directly underneath her? Yes. Plus 10. Modded 20. 38? Uh, 33. 28. You, you, I mean, you guys pass the, uh, the check. All it takes is one nat one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's a, it's a consensus. It has oh, to be okay. a, a majority. Sorry, it takes two <laughs> nat ones. <laughs> um, mean, medium, and mode. As you, as you all kind of move, um, How often would you like me to roll concentration for Pass Without a Trace? Uh, also, you will have to, uh, excuse me, uh, Petrina is actually, is Casimir's sister. So you do recognize her very well. Oh. Oh. And Casimir just kind of grips your shoulder. Your shoulder. Okay. Because you're in front of him. Okay. But I'm right behind him. So I see. Valian. Go out to the rest of the crypts. Leave this to me. I I don't feel comfortable, sir. I I think... I don't care if you feel comfortable. That's an order. We must press on. And Casimir is going to dip into, very quietly, into this crypt. So he's going to be there for a little bit. Bye. <laughs> yeah, just put him. Yes, yeah. He's, he can lay down. It's fine. Okay. Kay. So we have the the stick that mm-hmm. pointed to the right. It pointed a little bit to the right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I want us to stealthily continue down that path. Uh, like through. Yeah, through there. If we can keep. So these kind of like open up. So whatever your these are closed off, but when you look into like here, uh-huh. you could see what's in the crypt. Okay. And then uh, to fully like get into the crypt, you do have to move the blocks over. So Casimir is starting to slowly but surely, as quietly as he can, trying to move the slab over completely. Just kind of a heads up. Okay. So on the top of this one, if you're looking at it, uh, it says over it, Sir Eric Vonderbucks. Does that name ring any bells to any of us? You guys can roll history checks. The elves? Yep. Ten. Six. Modded 21. Um, they don't really remember. Eric, you remember um, quite a few, like at least a hundred years ago, of a very wealthy gentleman who dipped himself in gold because he was so greedy. What a fool. Okay. Not important. Let's press on. Okay. To... Uh, Kyrian. Where's it leading? Guess we'll keep treading on, and I'll keep going. So it's... Keep going diagonally uh, this way. And I guess we'll stop right there. Okay, right here. Okay. We'll see what the crypts around us are saying. That one says, this one is actually missing a door. And as you look inside, you see three giant wolf spiders that are just kind of crawling within this crypt. Alright. And about the one to my right? This one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Oh. The one he's touching. You mean this one? Yeah, Yeah, the one that, yeah. Uh, this crypt has no name or epitaph to it. Is it closed? You can try to open it. Is the item, is the locate item pointing to it? I mean, it's pointing... Just to this general area? Kyrian, does it give you a, an exact point of reference, or... Is this just leading us in a direction where it might be a generalized... So, you sense the direction to the object's location as long as it's within 1,000 feet of you. So, it will guide us. It's one of those things. It's it's kind of like a divining rod. 
You know, so it'll tell you where water is, but if you go past it, it's going to let you know, hey, turn around, you've gone too far. It'll be warm at So point. it's basically playing a game of hot and cold. Are we hot or... <sighs> Harder than when we walked in. Should we look into this crypt or... <sighs> or what if you passed it? Does it get warmer as you pass the crypt or colder as you pass the crypt? I'll go ahead and take a few more steps forward and see what I feel. Where are you stepping towards? Uh, Over this way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. And that one is... Okay. And so can, can we see what's over here or is it shrouded? This is uh this is a lower level than the catacomb. Okay. So you can't really you see a stairway over here going down. Gotcha. Um over here um you are kind of being turned or spun a little bit, but you do see over it uh it says over this crypt uh Sir Jarnwald the trickster. The joke was on him. Are we hot or colder? Uh, it seems like it's trying to pull me back to where we were. It doesn't seem like it's over this side. So we'll go back to this crypt? What about closer toward those stairs over there? Okay. So over there is... Okay. Also, over in this direction, there's another kind of crypt. Um, so that's what? So you're going towards... Okay. So over that, you see a crypt. It says, General Kroval Mad Dog Grizzlek. And it says, in parentheses, Master of the Hunt, a leader of hounds and men. Why don't we just check the one that doesn't have anything on it? Make sure it's not in there. I mean, we certainly can. What kind of blips would I be getting right now from my How Lord? long does your spell last for, Kyrian? It lasts for ten minutes. So, so we time must is be... of the essence. I would say it's been about seven, eight minutes. It's getting close before you have to cast it again. Yeah. Are we Which... hotter or colder right here? You're warm. You're, you're hotter. So this is the hottest point that it's been? I would say this is the hottest point it's been since you've been there. Go towards the stairs. Let's check the stairs. If it's not down there, then it's one of these crypts right here. Well, then we walk towards the stairs and see what we start feeling. So, just standing at the the top of the stairs. Or so, bottom, whichever direction it okay, goes. Okay, hold on. Let's see what the rod makes me feel. Okay. Um... Sorry, give me one moment. <laughs> tension. Oh, this is tense, especially because it's... Here's the knife. Here's yeah. the tension. We have to be so quiet, too. Yeah. Well, with the music, it's perfect. I'm just like... Oh, yeah. Thank you, Tabletop Audio. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tabletop. Not sponsored. <laughs> Yet. But you can if you'd like. Okay. So Casimir went by himself, right? I'm gonna do it by... Yes. This. Okay. Uh, so, because you're leading, correct? Yes. So as you're going through, you pass through one of these. These aren't supposed to be there, but they're there. Uh, you actually get teleported. So you, as you see uh, Kirian kind of going back and forth, the minute he passes through, which, where did you go through here? The middle yeah. one. The middle yeah. one. The minute he goes through one of the middle tiles, you see his foot press. He looks back and he is gone. We'll get to you. You're fine. <laughs> Wow. Valian's gonna turn. Arrow's still knocked at Absidy. You better start making the right decisions before I start taking the lead. I check for traps. A little late for that, isn't it? 17. Don't see any traps? At the... Okay. I know what I say. I check and I touch it with my hand where he stood. Okay, as you put your hand down, your hand starts disappearing, you look up, and you are also teleported. 
That was just foolish. I take out... Uh, mm, it's either going to be ball bearings or something less loud. Okay, go ahead and roll stealth, see if you can put the ball bearings there. Uh, 26. 26, slowly but surely you see these roll, and every time they go into the area, they just disappear. I want. I also want to lob it over. I'm going to... See how far it goes. Mm -hmm, I'm going to okay. take a little bit of, of cloth and wrap it around so it's like a little sack, mm -hmm. so they're not quite as loud, and just see if I can toss it, you know, five feet. The minute it passes through that, it just goes through. Okay. Like it goes through or it gets teleported No, away? it gets teleported. Okay. So the moment it touches the area or mm -hmm. past the area? Uh, the like it doesn't it, touch the tile? It, it isn't even able to touch the tile. Um... What, what are you again? A ranger. Ranger. Um, dirt. Yeah. Do you know what this is? It looks like magic. The only way we could be able to get rid of it is to dispel it. Can anyone here dispel? We have to figure out where the fuck the other guys went. <sighs> Hold down Casimir, Piotr, and Kyrian. This is not great. So, while you guys talk, we'll, we'll follow Kidian. Kidian, you end up in a crypt. You're in a very small one. Uh, this crypt smells of roses, and as you look, the remains atop of this marble slab have disintegrated except for one thigh bone. You see, like, dust. Um, and after a few moments pass, very slowly, Piotr, your hand is on the floor as you are also teleported to this crypt and you see Kirian with the fork and then as you guys kind of like reconvene you can talk to each other if you like what what happened I mean as far as I can tell it looks like whatever panel we pink. touched you get hit in the head with a ball bearing pink pink and then you get hit with a sack of ball bearings on your head oh it looks as though whatever panel we touched has some kind of magic on it that will allow teleportation, cause teleportation. What is around here? I look around. Uh, go ahead and roll investigation. Uh, I will help him so he could be at advantage. Thank God. Okay. Thank Ooh. God. <laughs> so as you... Seven. Seventeen. 17. 17. Uh, minus 1. Okay. Sorry, I was jumping. There. No, you're good. I was excited. I so, excited along, too, bro. along the walls, you see amongst, oh, 20. <laughs> amongst the mechanism, you actually see behind this crypt, there's a weighted mechanism that uh, onto the four walls, there are, it looks like holes, what you would suspect darts to be coming out of, and that basically whoever would open the crypt, these darts would come out. For the person outside or the person like outside on our side? Mm-hmm. To keep people out. And we're currently in. Correct. Uh, is there any way that I can disable this? Uh, do I want to disable this? I mean, Gideon, what do you think? I think I might be... I've definitely done my fat things about trying to take some traps out before. I think I might be able to go ahead and give it a shot. So you want to do like a disable... Try and try. do a, a sleight of hand check. Okay, sleight of hand. Is there any way that I can help him? Like you both can try. I mean, you can give him advantage if you want. It's yeah. going to be a straight sleight of hand check. Straight sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be a twenty-two. Twenty-two. So you start slowly. There's about four weights, so you're able to undo one of them. Uh, Piotr, as you're kind of like. Moran meandering about you're trying to like do that you kind of put your hand onto the tomb and as you do so you feel a ghostly hand touch yours and a ghostly form appears above all of the dust and it's so faint that you can barely discern any more than part of a face from this apparition comes the faintest of whispers the vampire must be destroyed use me as your weapon and with that it fades away and the dust settles among the thigh bone wait and 
I go towards the thigh bone. Okay. We are here to destroy the vampire. So. How can you help? You pick up the thigh bone, and this is the thigh bone of St. Marakovia's thigh bone. Uh, I'll give you a little info of it. Uh, the thigh bone has the properties of a mace of disruption. Uh, it scores one or more hits against a vampire or a vampire spawn in the course of a single battle. The thigh bone crumbles into dust once the battle concludes. So it's a one shot, one one done. So wait, that's basically a one shot kill on a vampire? It's a it's a big hit. It's a mace of disruption. So if you want to add that to your inventory at the moment. Oh, what is it called? It is the uh, Saint Marakovia, so M-A-R-K-O-V-I-A-S, thigh bone. If you want to roll a history check to see if you know who St. Matikovia is, you can. 15 minus 1, 14. 14. You kind of had ideas of her because she was human. You didn't really like follow her. You knew that she was a girl who worshipped the Morning Lord. She followed her heart. Um, she did a lot of great things before the age of 30. She gained a reputation for allowing no evil to stand before her. Um... She was very against Strahd, as you know, and uh, there was a great battle where she kind of led towards it, and she never returned. Well, I think this will help. And I tuck it into my... Okay. Would, I, would I see any of this, or would I be focusing on trying to just undo the trap? You'd be focusing, so it's only okay. on okay. Piotr here. I mean, I would share. Uh, I think I found something that may help. Okay, go on. Uh, there was a specter that just uh, said that it needs the vampire to be destroyed, and I think it will help. And I show him the thigh bone. I was like, I think this will help. I mean, well, you kind of have to assume that the majority of these crypts... I mean, if I was someone who was as pomp as Strahd is, I would kind of think that these are probably the crypts of his enemies. These are people that wanted him dead. That would make kind of sense, wouldn't it? I think so. So of those that are still undead, do you think they would be willing to help? I don't know about that much, but... If you think you got a tool that'll help, let's hope I could get these traps undone and we can help the rest of the group. Okay. So while you guys do that, we'll move on back to Valiant and Absidy. And Dirt. Um... Quick, out of game. Yeah. <clears throat> I have Wand of Secrets, mm -hmm. and it points to the nearest door or trap. Would that be considered, or secret door or trap, would that be considered a, tra a trap, or would it point somewhere else? You can you can hit it. You can use it, and I'll, I'll tell you what the result is. Okay. Um, yeah, so I pull out Wand of Secrets, mm -hmm. and I, I activate one of its charges. And you see this kind of faint glow around amongst this, this, and this. There's three different ones. They all... Do they all appear to be the same trap? They all go to the same place. Do we go regroup? Or... Oh. Dirt kind of leans forward. He goes... Well, I've thought of two things. Very important. Something incredibly important is beyond these teleportations. Something that Strahd does not want anyone to find. Maybe the sword's in that. That's what I'm thinking. In all three? All three? They probably teleport to different places. I mean, this is the main area to get to that staircase, no? Yes. So... But on the other side of the staircase, you're saying... Right. Yeah. So what I think is... I think I go through the teleportation. I'll tell you where I am. I think you should go together... I'll go to the other side. What other side? There's three. You two go together and I'll take the other two elves and we'll go to the other one. I don't know if that's smart. We don't need to go in the portal. We need to get past the portal. We can find out where the other two are. See if we might be able to open them. Yes, but won't we have to go inside of them to get there? Not all of them. If they're all different, then... We, don't, we only need to open up one of the three passages to get to the stairs. So we figure out what the other two are, if they're not dead. 
We figure uh, out how to dispel that thing. I told Rufio I would keep you safe. And I know you're significantly taller than me now, but... I've been significantly taller than you, man. I don't want to think about it. I'll go. I have... We have our communicators. I'll let you know where we where I pop up. All right. Um, I also I hand. Do I did I have to, I didn't have to attune to this. So what is it? The wand of secrets. No. So I hand dirt the wand of secrets. Okay. It's only got one charge left. Two. It I recharges used... at dawn. Oh okay. Just in case. All right, let's do it. And I crack my neck. Wait. Oh. Let's Thanks, dirt. Sphere. Thanks, Pierre. I crack my neck. It's dirt. I do some some shoulder things. You and Dirt actually like make eye contact, and you both simultaneously kind of roll your eyes as you're like, hip, hip. Uh, don't want to get a hammy. <laughs> and I take a step in. Okay, you step in, and whoosh, a few moments pass as you guys are you're on the second trap, so you're able to manage. I'll give you another trap that you've already done before. Absidy, ah, poof, like you kind of just just up here, and you're like, <laughs> whew, okay. I really thought I was going to die there. Not quite. Yeah. So were you the one throwing the ball bearings at our heads? Well, I threw them, um, <laughs> but not at your heads. Oh, here, they... here you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I replenish my ball bearings dash. You hit in your head. Are you dead? What? It's, it's dirt. Are oh. you dead? No, no, we're safe. Um, and I relay what's looking like what I see around me and the traps that we're trying to undo. Okay. When so to it looks like these crypts are rigged. So we have to be extremely careful. I mean, do you think Casimir's okay? Is his rigged? Can you see him? Not entirely. It looks like the crypt's packed and closed. Well, let's figure out where we are, get back together, and then we'll worry about Casimir. Okay. Anyway, we might be able to open the door slightly, see if you're able to, like, shoot something out so we can kind of figure out where you are out of these crypts. Kyrian's working on dismantling the traps. So, uh, Kyrian, how's it going? Uh, it looks like there's four of them. I got two of them done, and then you kind of just landed on me, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're halfway there. Well, well, what's your, um, what's your check? It's a sleight of hand. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Plus six. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'm yeah, I, I I'll leave you guys to it. I can. I have a plus ten to sleight of hand. I'm not as good. So. My hands are not as uh, quick and dexterous as y'all. Well, so. If, I mean, if you want to take the lead and take over, I'll be happy to help you. Thank you. Well, it's more like your thigh. <laughs> While you guys do that, Valiant and Dirt, you and the two other Dusk Elves kind of are looking at each other, and Dirt goes, "Well." No use to kind of just waiting around while they tell us what's going on. Why don't we check the rest of these? I would love to check the crypt that's right behind us that I said we check about seven minutes ago. Let's do that. Fantastic. Two so. arrows. <laughs> <laughs> so you go over and, um... Yeah, you can go over there. Uh, so you and Dirt and the Dusk Elves, you start... <clears throat> roll a strength check, see if you can roll it open. Do it at advantage, because you have both of the Dusk Elves helping you. Oh, ten. Ten? Okay, and you're going, and then Dirt's going to start putting his shoulder into it. Got an 18. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. He grew up. Goddamn teenager shoulder. He's got that Pedialyte, <laughs> and he's starting to slowly... Uh, this crypt is empty, except for two alcoves in the back wall. Above the alcoves are carved in the following words. Pass not these portals, ye foolish mortals. And Dirk kind of looks at you, and he goes, Are you a foolish mortal? Uh, no, I'm actually probably the closest to immortal of the group. It was redundant. It was rhetorical. Fantastic. How old are you? Thirteen. Get out of my face. Ugh. So you guys kind of, like, go in, and you look at the alcoves. Um, there's an eastern alcove and a western alcove. What would you like to do, child? Um, you take the west, I take the east? I take the east, you take the west. Fine. Fine. 
Good luck. So, as you guys kind of go, Dirt goes into the Western Alcove. He's like, I don't. Okay, great. Kind of touches it. You go over and you are teleported. We'll get to you. So, okay. Let's so not we're... split the party. You did it. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> and <laughs> Dirt's like, wait. Fuck. So, so Dirt's still there? Dirt's going to be here. Yeah, let's just group where everyone is. Well, we don't know where you guys are. So we don't know where no, you no, are. I know, but I, oh, yeah. Yeah. all the way off map. You're over here. Those are our, the two red shirts, right? <laughs> yeah, the yes. red shirts. <laughs> red shirts. <laughs> um, so we're back to you guys, and you're working on the traps. Go ahead and roll some lock picking, some trap picking. Okay. You're at an advantage. For helping. At least this way we know. 26. You're on yeah. your own. And- you were able to undo the other two, and so Dope. the traps are dispelled. Only thing is to move said crypt. <sighs> All right, well. And you don't have the lip of the the front of the crypt like you do with the other one. Mm-hmm. Which way do they open? They open like the the lips on the outside, so you're kind of on the inside. You can push it forward, but it'd probably go. Ksh. How how high above us is it? I'd say it's about mm, ten feet. Ten feet. And you are both five feet ish, like upper fives. Uh, yeah. Five and a half. Elves are typically six. Six feet? Six They're feet. They're like the same as humans ish. Typically a little a little taller, lankier. Okay. So who who's the strongest? <laughs> We're all pretty Probably me. Probably. Yeah, I mean you're definitely I mean, you're probably stronger than me, I could tell you that. I mean I'm a little bit more I don't have a negative. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit more with the tricks than I'm I am with... Pot- I'm pretty positive <laughs> on my strength. What is your plus? Got it. Uh, so kind of yeah. while you guys Same. are talking, Dirt goes... I'm the strongest. Hey, the snarky one is gone. Is he with you? I look around. Nope. Okay, um, so one of two things can happen. I can either go after him, or I try to figure out where you guys are. We are just about out. We disabled all the traps. All we need to do is lift it up, but uh, it's going to be hard. I'm going to make a call. We're in the unnamed crypt. Something going on with the east wall. It looks like a teleporter. I'm going after him. Unnamed crypt was this one? one that he's next to. The one that he's on right now. So the one right before where you guys got teleported. Okay. That's why I didn't know if it was the same one. Mm-hmm. Okay. The red shirts are like... Yeah. Well, okay. I trust you, Dirk. Fearer. Sorry. I'll get some used to. He's going to look at the other dust elves. He's like, all right, you two, just kind of stay in the main hallway. Don't be seen. And if you see Absidy and the rest of them, then reconvene. And they're kind of like... I don't fucking give orders. <laughs> Going after your guy. Come on, man. Uh, and you see, and he just kind of runs, whoosh, disappears. Okay, so working on opening the door. Let's do it. Um, what will we do then? If it's that far up ahead, would you like get up on my shoulders and then you try and push it open? And I like, can, I can try to push it open, but how crucial is it that it needs to be quiet? Pretty ideal. It's gonna require some of my. I mean, I have key energy, but I can make it that no sound leaves this place. Let's do it. It's that dire. Okay. How much of your energy will it use? Uh, a third of it. <laughs> but it is okay. And I take the staff to the door. Uh huh. And just. For flair. Yeah. Inscribe some like elven sigils on it Mm -hmm. and cast silence on the stone itself. Okay. So silence is in a a radius. I can't remember. I think it's a 15 foot radius. No sound can come in or out of this sphere. 20 foot radius. Okay. So So we are are all silent. We cannot even hear each other. Blow that motherfucker up. (laughs) Well, we're. I don't know your body. So. We're all, we're all pretty weak, right? Yeah. Can, can I have a plus one? You have a plus one. <laughs> yeah, You're that's why I said I'm the strongest one. Um, because we all have. Well, I have a crowbar. 
Do you guys have crowbars? <laughs> Everybody has crowbars from the pack. From yeah, the that's pack. in that pack too. Yeah. But now it doesn't matter how loud we are, so we can be as loud as we want. Right, but I'm saying, would the crowbar, if we're using that to give leverage, would that give us any sort of advantage? You guys can wedge it, yeah. If all three of you wedge it together and kind mm -hmm. of pull, you might be able to start pulling it open. Let's do that. Okay. So, do we all roll an um, advantage, or what's... Everyone... Do do this? Mm, that's a good question. Everyone do a strength roll at advantage. Oh, God. 14. 17. 8. Okay. <laughs> well, the majority kind of did it. So you see it slowly creak open, and it's... And you see a sliver of the rest of the crypt. You just see the edges of uh, a hallway. So it's not above us, it's in front of us? Yeah, it's kind of like this. Oh, oh. we thought it was something up above. Yeah. That's the okay. way you were kind of describing it. Oh, I'm it. sorry. No, it's <laughs> like a doorway. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. man, that's, we, that's why I was like, do I need them on my shoulders? No, like, it might be. Yeah. You're good. Okay, so um, sorry, I, I want to... It's not enough for me to get out, but it's enough to peek out? Yeah. Okay, I'd like to peek out. Investigation. Nat 20. You don't see anything, but you see a very long hallway that goes into where you would assume would be the rest of the crypt. So okay. It's kind of off to the side. You're on the west. You're either here or here. Somewhere over here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing. Don't even yeah. see. We, we'll we still can. do audio just because it's... Yeah, but we can't hear each other. Yeah, we can't hear each other, <laughs> so it's a lot of mouthing. Yeah. I mean, do you even see Casimir or anybody? Just an empty hallway. I assume it goes back to the catacomb, where we were. Should I drop silence? Because theoretically, we can't even hear each other. Yeah, like it's the entire area. Yeah. The, yeah. Whole, the entire scary. area is right. Bad. But we could we could mouth right. I mean, go ahead. We well, can mouth, but I just don't know what's out there yet. So while you guys are kind of like talking, you hear in your head a very quiet. Absidy. Some heavy shit, dude. What? You can't. He's not going to be able to hear oh, you. Oh, that's right. Just try to get out as soon as you can. Go into the crypt. I'm trying to see if there's a way we can get out of here. So, while we do that, <clears throat> Shit. we'll follow Valiant. Valiant, so yes. you get teleported, and you're basically amongst... You get teleported right at the top of these black marble steps that descend down into a dark tomb that has a vaulted ceiling about 30 feet overhead. The essence of evil permeates the very air great the smell of freshly turned earth is here and settled into this dirt on the floor is a shining black coffin of finely waxed wood the coffin's fittings are a brilliant brass the lid is closed south of the coffin are three gloomy alcoves an iron lever protrudes from the north wall east of this tomb's entrance so slowly but surely you start going down the stairs and behind you hear a clink and you see that fucking kids behind you I run back to to have him in my uh, general vicinity mm -hmm. so he's not disgustingly loud. Thanks. What is this thing? If I had to make a wager, I would say this is where Strahd sleeps. And he's gonna look at the black coffin, and he he the cheek the color from his cheeks kind of turn, and he goes, "Yeah, I think that would be a good assumption." Feels safe. Does it? To assume, yes. Here, no. Oh, shit. Okay, how do we get teleported out of here? It's a great question. I don't know. Shit. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna kind of, like, go amongst the walls, um, he's gonna kind of feel, um, he's gonna take out the, the Wanda Secrets. Okay. And he's gonna turn, and it looks like the west wall kind of lights up. And he goes, I'm gonna test something. Great. He's gonna go up to the west wall, and you see him put his hand up, and you see his body disappear few moments pass and you see him appear at the top of the stairway again and he goes absolutely there's some fucking heavy shit man just get out of here as soon as possible come on and so he's gonna go back down 
and he's going to grab you and take you over to the west wall. And when you teleport, you are back right at the west wall where he was standing when you originally went into that tomb. We have a way in. And we have a way out. Look a bit, a little bit more happy. I figured it out. And he kind of bumps you on the chest as he leaves the tomb. <laughs> Such a little prick. He's got that big dick energy now. He learned from the best. Okay. So, FC. Uh, okay, so when I peered out, I didn't see anything. Right? Right. Okay. Um, hearing the message from Dirt, I messaged to just drop it. Drop the... I drop silence. Something's going on. I don't know what Dirt said heavy shit. We gotta go. Okay. So we... I go to push. Help me. Okay, go ahead and roll... I uh, I still want to do it with stealth if possible. I don't know how to roll mm, for that. It's one or the other. I I would say if you're trying to push all the way open, you can't really do stealth it. What if just enough to creep through? With the crowbar. I don't know if the crowbar's gonna have enough leverage. there, there really is only one kind of way. Yeah, it's going to either drag or, or fall. Like, yeah, or fall. So, so you, okay. Uh, depends on how hard you're going to push it is going to determine whether it falls or drags. Oh, I want it to drag. Yeah. Okay, so um, do straight strength rolls then. Strength rolls. Okay. Oh, fuck you. What'd Natural you 20. Okay. So as the, the three of you start pushing in, you, Kirion, you kind of like <clears throat> really grit your teeth and you and Dirt hear this and the other two Dusk Elves who are in the middle like, the fuck, man? You guys hear this from the this area. You hear, I will uh, run over to that crypt, knock an arrow. And so with this one? Uh, one more over. This one? Yeah. Okay. And use the, the corner as cover, knock an arrow, and wait to see if anything foreboding comes. I will fire. Okay. So as you pass this crypt and you look up, it has your name on top of it. Yeah, I look inside. You have to open it. Uh, I'll keep the arrow knocked and just kind of keep... You keep looking at it, and it's, it is your full name. It's your name, middle, if you're named after your father, it's you're the second, or it's it's 100% your name. Okay. Slowly but surely, the rest of you guys kind of start peering out of this hallway, and you end up, you're right about here when you get to the catacomb. Okay. How high up are the ceilings? I mean, they're pretty high up. They're about, like... 50 feet up. 50 feet. Okay. You said, so this is the hallway or this is the hallway? This is. The center, the little part? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. This is where you guys pop up. Okay. Even though you can't really get over there. Yeah. We'll move you over here. That's okay. We can move this. Yeah. We got a little bit of space. That's fine. That's fine. About how long have we been down here? More than 10 minutes. Okay. I mean, uh, past without a trace is an hour. Okay. So more than 10 minutes. As as we get here... Mm Mm-hmm. I see. I, I can see the group, right? You can see the the two dusk elves that were in the middle. I don't see uh, dirt or fear. dirt's gonna kind of walk out, and he's gonna go. Hey, hey. Yeah, um, I think we can talk at this level. I think I, we're all right right okay, now. Okay, I just didn't want to scream. No, that's fair. So he kind of walks up. We found a way into. I think it's Strahd's tomb. Strahd's tomb. Maybe a little bit lower. Make yeah. up your mind. Okay, <laughs> me and. Valian, we went to that that tomb that he kept bitching about? Yeah. It teleports you to Strahd's. And then in the tomb, there's another teleportation back into that tomb. So we can dip in and dip out. Okay. Okay. What about you guys? Where did you end up? Uh, just some tomb back behind us. And then we heard that, uh, I just heard you say something was going on. So we darted out here. Right. I actually found something in this tomb. You it found is, uh, yes, it was uh, uh, a specter has come to me uh, of Saint Markovia, and uh, it, it said it would help to defeat the vampire. And I have this, and I pull out the, the thigh, thigh bone, bone, and I explain. And Dirk kind of, okay, oh, getting some radiant energy off of that thing. I okay. think there are things in these crypts. 
I don't think it's something I may be able to use. Do you think you can use it against the vampire? It kind of takes it from you. No, but I think I might know who might. Okay. And then you see him, he's like, Thok, you don't have to answer, but I think I got a new treat for you. So. <clears throat> anyway, we might be able to try to see if we can find the sun sword. <sighs> As this interaction is happening, Valiant is given in and is trying to get into that tomb. Okay. Are, are we... So we're back over by... Back in this area, I'm yeah, assuming? Yeah, you kind of convey back into the middle. No, I'm going to go over to Valiant and be like, Valiant, what, what are you doing here? He's not going to respond. He's one track mind at this moment trying to push open this, this uh, crypt, trying to get inside. And I want to investigate the crypt. Do I see his name on it? You look up at it, and yes, you do see his name on the crypt. Oh, shit. And I signal over to Absidy and Piotr, and I say, Guys, I think we're losing Valian. What? The tomb. I've talked to him, and he, he's not responding. The tomb has his name on it. The crypt has his name on it. I think we've run into something like this before. So as you are able to rip it open, you see laying on the slab is you. Full of just different battle wounds and your face is sunken in. It looks like you've been there for a while and it's just your decaying body. I run up to it and, and start touching it. As soon as you no. put your hand to it, it just it melts away and dispels into like a ball like it's wax and eventually everything dissipates and you were just in this empty tomb and as you go back outside obviously fucking shaken you see all the color gone from valley and you look back up and it's just an unmarked tomb valiant you're all right valiant it's another one of strad's tricks it's not real don't tell me. You didn't see... Has that happened to you? Not me, but someone very close to me. Until and I you, know it's fake. Until you see it happen to you, don't lecture me. I'm not lecturing you. I'm here for support. Keep in mind, we have one track and one mission. We are seeking this, and I use magic minor illusion mm -hmm. to make the sword appear. This is what we're after. This is what we need. Everything else we must push aside. We need to focus. Just back to it. We learned a very important piece of information. Let's figure this out. So that that tomb, mm -hmm. that just keeps us here, right? It's not somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where are we moving? Would would I know anything about vampires and like where they sleep and stuff? Not entirely. Okay. You guys aren't kind of world-class vampire hunters, so you don't mm -hmm. know that much about it. I don't know how much we'd learn over at Steve's. I mean, rudimentary things. You know that people, that vampires sleep in coffins. That they're usually pretty important. And Maybe. Dirt, oh, I'm ahead. sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say Dirk kind of goes, so... You said that we had a general idea around this kind of area, so we zeroed this one out. The, my only issue is these two, they have those magic things around it. They do. Yeah. I don't... Is there any way around them? There's no other door in there, I would assume. Are the doors facing They're the face portal? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, shit. And you see Fira, and he's like, just give me a minute. So you guys talk amongst yourselves. I want to see if Dirt has something. Is there any way that we can jump? How tall are these? They're about, uh, what did I say, 10 feet? 10 I think feet so, tall? yeah. They're about 10 feet. Is there any way to jump on that and then jump diagonally? How high avoiding? does, how high do the, the, the portals go? Yeah, didn't really we find out. We don't know. They're on the ground, but so far everything that's gone past it's just past that, that plane. If it's passed plane, through it, it's it disappears. It's, okay, so it doesn't it have goes to touch away. the ground. Then I'm I'm going to I'm going to look to whoever the tallest is. I'll just go to you, uh, Kyrian. Kyrian, hoist me up to put me on top of this one. To which one? This one right here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and lift mm -hmm. Absidy up. I scuttle up. 
um, just take another ball bearing and I throw it as high as I can just to see where it goes. Okay. Uh, and you see as soon as it passes about six feet, it disappears. Okay. There's no jumping around it. Yeah, I can see that now. It was worth the shot. Could could Strahd's sleeping place have something to dispel it? It's safe to say that he probably put these up. I mean, we've already found things that could be beneficial in one tomb. I'm not... I don't want to go through all these because you don't know what we're going to find. We could find things that are very bad, but... For the love, I'm I'll a- drop past without a trace and cast Detect Magic. Within 30 feet of me, do I see anything magical? So you see, this is... 38. So you see, obviously, these three pieces light up. Mm-hmm. Um... Let's see, 37 and 38. You see um, this light up? Mm-hmm. That cat, that catacomb or yeah. that tomb? Um, and you so don't... I would be like right yeah. here. Right. You... Yeah, right there-ish. Yeah. You see just this that one. That one lights up? This one lights up. Okay. Then... Valian's going to basically start mocking. He's going to, while it's up, it's, it's concentration for 10 minutes, and it's within 30 feet. Mm-hmm. So he's going to go one, and he'll take out his dagger and scrape a, a mock on it, and then go boom, boom, boom. Okay, 30 feet, anything. Okay, let's see where you're at. He's going to be just running and mocking things that are uh, magical 30. because of this standing around is... A kind waste of, of time. Um, smart. Good call. Um, this one kind of lights up. It's great. Okay, Jim. That one is 36. Boop, boop, boop. This one doesn't. You're fine. Oh, oh, sorry, oh. This one doesn't. So let me check those two. Okay. And then he'll get over here, and he'll go as far as he can in ten minutes. He's he's an elf, so it's kind of quick. You see, from this one, necromancy magic. Okay. Ooh, put a black there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, put a black one. Put a black one. That one is thirty-one. Well, keep in mind that not all of this magic stuff is good. No, but. To know this one also has magic in it. Okay. Shit. This place is full of goodies, dude. I I got more d6s. Okay. I also have a shit ton of dice. You do. (laughs) I got new ones. Okay, so where are you moving up? Uh, here. Here. This is where he's at now. And there's a shit ton over in this area. Would I be uh, rolling stealth while I'm doing this to try? You're trying to be sneaky. I am trying to be. Go for it. Sneaky-ish. Is that does that make it a disadvantage or no? Sneaky. Okay. I'm sneaky ish. Uh modded twenty. You're fine. Okay. Okay, that one's fine. I'm Naruto running. Ew. Oh, it's just so I have my arm back so I can just do a quick shmeh and then I gotcha. I have more if necessary. That's what I imagine with fifty five movement that I look like. So you don't get yeah. anything from these two. No, what about this one? This one's within thirty as well. Let me see. I mean, are we assuming you're just making a lap? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. 10 minutes. Yeah. Do the spell last for It's going to be all of them. Yeah, you can just tell us which ones because he's going to. So this one, you don't. But while you pass it, you do see. Go ahead and roll a uh, perception check. See if you can read what it says while you're going. Uh, I'm on a 20. Um, so you see that the door to this is slightly to one side because you're over here. You're kind of moving and lapping around. Yeah. As you're moving. be like. You see above it, it says, Irina Koliana, wife. And that name would resonate with me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just making sure. I don't extent. know how much. To the... an extent, like, you okay. know that he had a wife. Well, I mean, 
if Absidy shared that Irina was... To be fair, Irina was staying at the camp for months. Yeah, but would we have ignored her because she was different? Just rings a bell. Yeah, okay. Where you at? That's fine. Uh, I'm about here, I would say. Two. So this one rings a bell for me. I'm going to put a Valiant dice there to make reference. It was this one, right, Justin? Yep. Okay. Uh, that one doesn't have anything. Keep moving. That, but he's just saying the one that he put the dice on. The one the with Irina. the dice yes. is Irina. Okay. Mm -hmm. Literally that doesn't have a. Before. That doesn't really have anything. Okay, he's just gonna go. He's gonna make a lap. So anything that's in this general vicinity so that's full... magical. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter. Hello. It's more like pitter patter, pitter because he's <laughs> bigger and stuff, it's but thought, still very thought. fast. It's more like pitter patter, pitter patter. Because you rolled a twenty mm -hmm. on your stealth. I did roll a twenty. There's <laughs> nothing really in there. Five. So these ones aren't. Super duper magical, but there's mm -hmm. a couple over here that are. One that's necromancy. Three that are just so general magic, that, arcana. Yeah. Theoretically, you would know in school. I would or wouldn't? Detect magic would. Oh, then I would, yeah. Um, it would or would it? It, it would. It yes. would, okay. Uh, this one. What school? Um, where are you at now? You're over here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you said this one, though, right? Yep. Okay. So, it's, sorry, it's hard. They they put these on different fucking. No, no, you're fine, man. That makes yeah. perfect sense. That's what I mean. So just to go, <clears throat> gonna drop. We went to go buy new dice today, and uh, celebratory the, dice. Yeah, and the woman behind the counter was talking about how convoluted Strahd is, and how <laughs> the book is just like laid out very poorly. Yeah, and Justin's told us many times like you're supposed to go to the castle like 18 different times in the campaign. And it's like, why does that make sense? Why would anyone that's like, oh, you're supposed to kill Strahd, just show up at his castle and not try and kill Strahd? something? I, for one, love hanging out with my enemies. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, if you've been watching the campaign this long, you know that we haven't been here before. <laughs> so clearly we're and following we the book religiously. we hate him. Yeah, yeah. we like, he, he's a bit of a dick. <laughs> um, this one doesn't have anything on it. However, it does say over it. Sasha Ivelovskova, wife. Ivelovskova. Okay. Here, put uh, whatever. So triangles are wives. Yeah. <laughs> well, triangles are what Valiant notices and may or may not choose to share okay. with the group. And so, now what? Just finish I would, I would then meet back down with. And over. Yeah, I guess I would do the finish the lap. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, poor Justin. You're okay. I just. No. Ugh. Can we put Get the map the in the full use of the spell before it wears thing? off? Yeah. Um, yo. I'm really excited after this is all done to like look through the book and just see how weird it's laid out. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty Well, the way that it's it. laid out, too, uh, a lot of it determines on what cards you draw Correct. at the beginning Where of the campaign. Are. Oh, like, okay. Like, you can literally play through Strahd 20 different times, and it's 20 different stories. Oh, with, okay. Depending D &D on what, beyond. depending wow. on what tarot cards you draw <laughs> from, D &D was it Madame Eva? Is that who uh, you yeah. drew the cards? Yeah. yeah. Like depending on who you draw the cards from, like depending on what cards you get, changes it up. Changes up the story that you are doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, we talked to her about the Amber Temple, and she's like, "Yeah, we went through this temple." I'm like, "We didn't even talk about that." Like, yeah. <laughs> didn't even know that was yeah, on the temple. Uh, there's also a crypt over here, by the way. Oh. There are. Four. So you went through one, so there's like one, two, three, four. I would have That's run, also the adjacent over here. I would have run past those. I don't know if I would have had time to hit these, you, but I would have. You, I don't know if you would have gotten a pinging because they're a little far off. Okay. It's like a hallway. So, I mean. And then I'd, I'd circle roughly back as you get it. with the group. You didn't get all of them, but breathe we'll a little, say, breathe a little heavy. There are magical items in a lot of of these crypts. I think we should attempt to hit them all. However, before we go, there's something you might like to see alone. Okay. And I'll and take him... Yeah, hesitantly, I agree to walk with you. I walk him over slowly to the Irina crypt. Okay. Now, this is going to be most likely pretty jarring for you but know that 
I... I'm here for you. Th thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awkward. An awkward, <laughs> intimate moment. Yeah, you pretty much. You trying to be I nice. Nailed it. <laughs> I, nailed, I nailed exactly what I wanted to go for. It was perfect. When, like, five years ago, so you were like, until it happens to you, lot. here you go. Now it's yeah. happening to you. It's so now it's... Weird. Now I see it? Yeah, you should be able Give to see it now. Give me one sec. Okay. Just, and is, as, as I... As I see it, my heart drops. Is this thirteen? Her mother. Her, is there a relation or? What? You also notice. I'm sorry that this uh, tomb is completely just well kept and swept. Is it open? I don't. It I don't open. say anything, but I, it's open. Mm -hmm. There's oh, nothing in it. Then I oh. Guy still walk inside. Okay. I'm trying to fucking find it. <laughs> fucking tombs. Come on, Perkins. <laughs> is that I, I do walk inside stealthily, but it's I'm kind of once I see it and I see that it's open, my heart drops and I just I I zone out or I zone in. Uh, hello? Is there okay. what is this? I don't Alright. Perfect. So uh the stone floor of this crypt has been carefully laid to one side. The thorough uh through the swirly mist of perpetual fog, freshly engraved letters spout the words Irina Koloyana, wife. Crypt is empty and has been swept clean. And you hear behind you, you hear dirt. And he goes, I think this is where he's going to keep her when he turns her. Like well, um, weirdly enough, there's another wife crypt. And it's kind of diagonal from here and there's there's a magical entity in in a in a crypt close to that so i wouldn't be opposed to doing that are you okay i'm i'm still not listening because i'm i'm looking around mm -hmm. so Great. It, it seems it seems like a a future one yep Irina's only engraved on the top or is it when i'm inside it's also both. okay so i take out my dagger and i start scratching it okay so that her name is no longer there. What is he? Just let him do that. What he's he's going to go through is... his thing. Just let him have his thing. Okay, I'm going to leave. Yeah, no. Great. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the magical one. I assume that everybody, like other people are going to okay, go to. that one is. Sorry, man. You're perfectly fine. I just, I wish I had. <laughs> just playing heat. So the while character. you're looking for that, we Good have, time. can we place just where everyone is? Can we move Absidy to that one? Absidy's here. Have so over here. dirt's with you. Mm -hmm. oh, and you would also have... be with me, yes. I would have stayed over here because oh. nobody. Where you you, you said that out. you took him alone. I did take him alone. Um, I guess dirt I'll, followed. Uh, I think I'll, everyone I'll else is hanging out. Um, I'll stay by Absidy. Okay. Um, just get... just outside the crypt. Yeah, just outside it. Just because I mean. Yeah, we'll leave our brothers with you. You find yep. a, you find a crypt of a girlfriend and she ain't dead yet. It's a little bit odd, so I'd like to keep him company. He's probably not feeling great. You're also mates. <laughs> the we're, we're mates. <laughs> uh, over the one that's in front of you, Valiant. It yes. says, Kazan, his word was power. I like that. And what? you see dirt. Yeah. What was the word? It says Kazan. K-H-A-Z-A-N. His word was uh... power. <sighs> And Dirt's like, try to open it, please. Okay, Dirt wasn't with you. Dirt wasn't with us. No, he wasn't. Dirt wasn't the, with us. He Dirt wasn't was in the. Us? He was in the Amber Temple. That wasn't in the. No, Amber he Temple. wasn't. We sent him a. Oh no, he was there for the battle. Kazan was. Kazan was the, the wizard. Tower. Was he the wizard? He was the wizard for the the Amber Temple. Tower, yeah, he was he, the tower guy, right? It was his. T it was his tower. It was his temple. Yeah, that, that was the one where the little thing was inside, right? No, I think this is the this is this one. Yeah, I thought that was the te that was the tower that was Bamberton's that was... tower. Because nope. remember that was the magic word. I don't know if it was Kazan. It might have been. It was my, something. It was, close it was, to it was that. My, yeah. my, my notes say Kazan was a very powerful wizard who was the owner of a tower with a blue dragon and a yeah, yeah, Let one person talk. Sorry. No, no, you. He right. was one of them. It was yeah. the one with the the blue dragon and the Draco Lich. It was that tower. We'll move. We'll backtrack. We should be a little bit wary. I think I ran into this guy's home, and there was a dragon. Do you fight dragons? Not recently. That's the spirit. Uh, I would know the school of magic, though, too. What what would I have gotten from this? 
from the School of Magic, you get, um, I'll say you get, uh, Transmutation. This could be very powerful. And we'll push the door open. Okay, go ahead and do a, um, uh, strength check at advantage. 16. 16. Uh, by the way, not transmutation, sorry, necromancy. Ooh, that's the one I didn't want to hear. So we still, (laughs) you still open it, you're able to. Uh, there is a skeleton draped in rags that lies atop a marble slab in the center of this crypt. The skull has black opals set in its eye sockets and shards of amber where its teeth should be. Disgusting. Hi, cousin. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, I guess I still have an arrow knocked. I haven't let one go yet, so I'll I'll have it, and I'll just have it at the ready. So, as you do that, and Dirk goes, Hi, Kazan, you hear a rumbling. And, um, you hear the, uh, you all kind of hear this, as the pillars of Ravenloft kind of shake a little bit. Oh, jeez. And Dirk goes, Oh, good. Um, and as this happens, the... You see, um, a, uh, sorry, uh, a staff appear in, in air between you and dirt. And it's while things are moving. I think that's his. Do we want it? That's a you question. I already, I'm looking for something. It's quite foreboding not a huge fan or much of a magic user maybe we back out slowly okay and after about a minute it disappears well fuck that real loud take away the uh, dice there's no more magic in this area what happened over there Gus? nothing good yeah nothing good if we were trying to be quiet, now is not anymore. Yeah, you literally shook the whole castle, guys. Let's just whip it, though. It was a, this was a tremor. All right. We're even shorter on time now. Let's go. All right, so let's try to see if we can... Maybe we can try to figure out if Casman's doing anything, if he's got any leeway. I'm yeah. going to keep pressing on to other stuff. Okay. Where well, did you relay all the different um, magic spots Yeah, I would have. Okay. Them. Anything that has a... Dagamok on it is a is a magical crypt. There's a magical item in there. I didn't have time to scribe out if it's necromancy, transmutation, whatever. But any if it has a scratch, it's magic. Great. Since his locate object was in this general direction, mm-hmm. and I see that this crypt is this general direction and it has a scratch. Yeah. I'm gonna check this one. You're gonna go which one? This one? Because it's the one with the Yes, teleport in front of it. Yeah, it's, it's in front of it. You can't get in it into it. Oh, where's the, oh, it's on where's the door? Side. Yeah, the door is the, on the portal the, side, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Uh, the, the I thought the door was. So we. So the doors are all facing that way. Realistically, we need to try and find way. some so way to be able to dispel the magic so that we could get into that crypt. Never mind. I'm going to look at this wife. Which one? crypt? Okay. The, the yes. Twenty. So Sasha. Yes. So. Go ahead and roll a strength, uh, if Dirt's coming with you. Uh, it, does he want to come with me? I mean, he's not doing anything bad. Oh, God. <laughs> that's so loud. Uh, natural 19. Okay. You guys start pushing, and you see webs as thick and pale as linen cover. A shapely female form lying atop a marble slab in the center of this dusty, web-filled crypt. You hear her voice issue from the darkness. My love. Have you come to set me free? The woman rises, and the shroud of webs clinging onto her is in a ghastly fashion. And, uh, okay. So this older woman kind of, she's very attractive, starts coming through, and Dirt's like, okay, close it. We're going to 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 close it. Push it, push it, push it. So we'll see if you're able to get through, like, you're not my husband. And you see the face shift into a vampire. <laughs> Go ahead and strength. Strength at advantage. Uh, I'm your husband. 15. 15. Okay, so as you two are starting at 15, you see her arms start to come out, and you guys crush it as the forearms, like... 
at that point, I'm gonna run on over there and see what's going on. And you just see this arm, like, crush, like, ah! And Dirt, you, you all have noticed this. Dirt doesn't have any weapons on him. He just has his armor on. And he goes, okay, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. And you see him, like flex his arm and you see materialize this golden kind of shield that has this sun above it and it materializes on his arm and you just see him cut the arm off holy shit okay we're gonna close the rest of the we're gonna close the rest of the crypt and so uh you guys kind of manage to push it and you see him shake and the shield just well as he shakes it off it starts slowly dissipating fuck you're 13 (sighs) trust me i know (laughs) Puberty must have been very interesting for you. It It's still happening. <laughs> I'll go over to the other magical crypt. To this one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. As he's doing that, I want to start... No, yeah. I would I would go with, with you, because now I, I respect you a bit more. Oh, I thanks. Because you, you helped me out. Mm-hmm. Of you course. You can start going on your own. I'm going to wave at them. I don't know if they'll see me or not. So, is it like perception well, to see? So, as you're starting to make your way downtown... You see this one in particular. It says, King Kasky. And it says, Kasky the Bright. Ruler, inventor, and self-proclaimed time traveler. As you start slowly moving over here. Which one was that? Oh, we weren't even over there. He was over here. He was kind of doing a roundabout. I just want to put it in there. <laughs> I'm stirring the pot. Always fall for everything. Yes. Throws at you. Yes. So we are at what? This one? Yes. Can you move us? This one one of us. Yeah. This one actually says um, Tasha Pedravana, healer of kings, light unto the west, servant, companion. I think I'm a little bit interested in that one. Much better than what we just saw. And he'll look over at Dirt and kind of give him a nudge. Okay. So. Push it open. Yeah, let's do it. Ten. Did, natural nineteen. Did you say what the school of magic was on this one? Nope. And just push it right open. <laughs> so as you slowly open, you all see a skeleton wearing tattered priestly vestments lying on top of marble slab in the center of this crypt. The dome ceiling overhead is painted with the glorious sun mural. And you as you all saw the shield now, it recognizes you can recognize it as the symbol on top of the shield. Do you know her, 13-year-old? Not particularly. What do we call you? Fira. And he kind of pushes forward. Okay, Fira. Calm down. So, um... Big strong boy. Oh, you shut up. He kind of goes over, and there is a symbol of Lathander. And he's gonna go, I'm gonna take this, if you don't mind. By all means... Go right ahead. It looks like you already got some matching things. Right. It kind of looks like it goes I with mean, it. I found it, and you guys are kind of all speaking for me. So, but... as he picks it up, you all hear uh, this female voice, and this image kind of permeates from the top of the skeleton. Oh. There's a grave to the west, with roses that never die, and a place built by healers, in a village called Kresik. When all turns to darkness, touch this holy symbol to the grave to summon the light and find a treasure long lost. You would assume that this was the crypt that you were found in, which was the the rose one. Okay, well... I think we already got that one. But now put this symbol. I mean, we could try it. She said what? Touch the symbol to the grave to summon a life once lost. I think that means we have to go back to Kresik with it. Was it Steve? That doesn't seem like it's an option. We'll put a pin in it. Okay. I thought it was talking about one of them here. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's keep trucking forward. Okay. Where are we going? You want to take the die? We'll meet yeah. back with Piotr, who has been standing there attentively. And I'm relatively interested in this one. This one here? Yeah. So... Piotr is over there still? Yeah. I think we should regroup and yeah, disperse, let's regroup and, and, and disperse in groups. Okay, so we'll regroup. Okay. We'll take um, Kyrian. Kyrian mm-hmm. will still go here. Okay. He'll take a, a red shirt. Okay. Kyr- Kyrian in a red shirt, do that. I'm going to take Piotr with me and we'll go here. And I'll take 
dirt with me and do the uh, other one. red one. Oh, this one. Okay. So yeah, we'll... we know the we know the black one's the necromancy. So. Okay. So we'll we'll go in this order. So we'll yeah, go. No, the other one. We'll start with thirty. So this one says. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Prefect Cyril Romulish, beloved of King Barov and Queen uh, Ravenovia, High Priest of the Most Holy Order. And so, which one is that? That's this one. It's the one we were at. It's, yeah, those two. So, want to push it open? I've been pushing a lot. I'll, I'll help you, but I'm kind of tired. Fine, I will push it open. I've been doing all the dirty work. You know it's not my thing. Push it as yes, uh, my liege. Uh, what you call it? advantage. At advantage? Mm-hmm. Because he's helping you. <laughs> nice. God wants it that way. Fifteen. So you guys <laughs> managed to open it. Uh, and there is a marble slab in the center of the crypt, displaying a skeleton draped in red vestments. A golden holy symbol, as you would recognize, clutched in one bony hand. The dome ceiling 15 feet above is painted to look like a canopy of trees with bright autumn leaves. A narrow stone ledge encircles the crypt 10 feet above the floor. Perched on it are dozens of stone ravens, their eyes fixed on the slab. After you. I'll knock an arrow and walk in. Okay. Closer to the center. Mm-hmm. Closer, closer, closer. Does Ish. anything... Just the holy symbol? It's made out of gold, and you can kind of guess it's worth a lot. I will grab it. Mm-hmm. You grab it, and what alignment are you? Uh, neutral. Okay, you're fine. You look uh, at it, and you're like, it's just another symbol of the morning light. Okay. And I will turn around and kind of shrug it, Piotr, and okay. give it to the kid. I, I guess he's just making out like a fucking bandit. Yeah. <laughs> it's my turn. It's our time down here. <laughs> As you would say, I'm in this bitch. So, and then we'll move over to the necromancy one. Okay, so we'll move to You're not you and right Dirt kind of go together. Girl? Do you want me to try to, like, wedge it? Let's do it together. All right. And I go for the hand thing. <laughs> Fear ear. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll do it at because he has the higher. Yeah. And slowly but surely, you guys manage to open it. Uh, it only says above it, "We knew him only by his wealth." <laughs> and I'm like, and Dirk goes, "Oh, good." As it opens, the crypt is empty. Its walls are painted to depict mountains of gold coins. Can I look around, just inspect, see if there's anything interesting? Uh, how much do you weigh? Uh, super light. How tall are you? Three five. Yeah, he's three something. I'm like 40, 50 pounds. Okay. As you go, you hear the floor kind of creak under you, and it's like, should I go with you? Oh uh, nope. There's some there's some creaking. So I'm I'm gonna walk on the walls instead. Okay. <laughs> I'm just good point. Kind of peer around. Okay. See if there's anything interesting don't really see anything interesting. You just see the paintings of the gold. Should we try to, like, weigh it down? Uh, um, I don't know. Can I... Would we see them be doing this as we walked over to the other? Or were these all at the same time? They're all roughly around the same time. Is If I check for traps, does that just tell me that there is a mechanism or mm-hmm. not what it is? It would tell you that there is a mechanism, and you might you would know the nature of it to an extent. Okay, well, can I check traps on it? <coughs> sure. Uh, are, you, are you, like, on the wall? On yeah, the are wall? you, like, on the wall? Like, are you on well, the wall? Well, I'm going to come back down and get close like to where... Like, slippers of spider climbing Yeah, the yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to come close to... Get close to where I stepped and heard that. Mm-hmm. So you came gonna, in handy. I did. Do, do I get advantage since I know something's there? Sure. Eleven. Seems to be a weighted trapdoor. You don't know what the capacity of that weight is. You can assume that 50 pounds isn't enough to trigger it. Well, we need more than 50 pounds, but... Yeah, I gotcha. Hey, Valian. I'm just... 
Yes. No, nothing, nothing. Just I was I was making a joke. I mean, do you think it's safe? You're not a funny I, child. No. Have you been here, <laughs> dude? Yeah. Let's let's just back up. All right, we bounce. So as you do that, we'll go over to oh, Kidian. So Kidian, as you go up to this particular crypt, uh, you see over it, Vucephalus, the Wonder Horse. May the flowers grow ever brighter where he trods. And this crypt uh, door is a lot larger than the others, at six feet wide by about eight feet tall. Wow, this actually looks like something interesting to me. This looks like you said be, that before. It looks like this could be the crypt of a horse. Uh, Redshirt, can you help me? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> no. Hello. <laughs> Is that red shirt and the other one a yellow shirt? <laughs> They're both red shirts. Ten. Ten. Um, you aren't able to manage to budget, but when you put your hands on it, the slab is warm. Warm. Jeez. So I'll call out and I'll be like, Hey, uh, Absidy, Fira. Think you might help me out with this one? That's so far to yell. Yeah. Minor 108. Hmm? I would say maybe reconvene. Okay. Unless you want to. Okay, we'll reconvene then. Um, <laughs> it's not, it's we not, are fucked if you yell that. It's, well, no, it's not yelling. We're like 40 feet apart. It's not that far. That's pretty far. That's far. <laughs> uh, so you guys are at. We'll go over here. Stefan Gregorovich, first counselor of King Barov and Zarevich. Von Zarevich. Sorry, King Barov von Zarevich. Fine. <laughs> I push the door. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Roll your strength check. A straight roll. Yeah. Oof, six. Okay. Why do I have to do everything? I will keep this in mind next time you need anything from me. Natural nineteen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Son of a bitch. <laughs> My strength modifier is zero. Okay. Minus one. How much was it again? A natural 19. 19. Okay, so you guys are able to manage to open it, and you see a skeleton draped in rags lying on top of... Ooh, is that the right one? Yes. Uh, on top of a marble slab in the center of the crypt. Most of the bones appear dusty and neglected, but the skull... The skull is well polished. After you, you must do everything. Piotr, stop being petty. That's my job. And I'll kind of put an arm on him and, like, mm -hmm. eh, 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 we're they're, buddies. They're gay together, confirmed. It's All right. It's canon. Yeah, it's canon. They cool. Love each other. Heard that. Uh, <laughs> go. What, what is the creature in there? It's a skeleton. It's a skeleton. Just a normal skeleton. But the very skull is really head. polished. Okay. And uh, Valian will walk up to it mm -hmm. and just kind of look at the head. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. Check for traps. Sure. Investigation. What? Investigation. Uh, okay. Twelve. Don't really see any traps. I'll put my hand on the skull. As you do, you see this necro en energy kind of like permeate and the eyes kind of light up and the jaw <laughs> unhinges. <laughs> Stefan Gregovich. First, Counselor of King Barov von Zarevich at your service. Five questions you may ask me. Uh, is this either of one of us? Is it for me or for... Out of game. <laughs> that's a, that's I was... Oh, uh, come on. That's a question. Is this for me or for... Um, without me saying a word, I'm going to minor illusion the sword again. Where is the Sun Sword? The Sun Sword is in Castle Ravenloft, deep within the catacombs. Uh. <laughs> in which specific crypt is the Sun Sword? It is in Crypt 36 of 40. Fantastic. How do we dispel 
the portals in front of the crypts. To dispel magic, one must have the dispel magic spell using such which components and verbal semantic components. Three. Uh, Valian will poke his head out and go, Absidy, Fira, please come inside and poke his head back in. Okay. Dirk kind of comes with you. There, before you come up to this skeleton, know that there are two questions you can ask it and it will give you the answer. However, they need to be as specific as humanly possible. The Sun Sword is in Crypt 36. Of 40. Of 40. We do not know which script that is. I don't know which one, but I know it's in here. I asked it about the portals, and it said that we need to have Dispel Magic. If you ask a question in its presence, it's going to answer it. So, don't even ask what, like... Hey. Anything. Yes. This has to be very specific. There are two as questions. As specific as humanly possible. I've already asked three, but you know more about what's going on than I do. We know the Sun Sword's here. We do. Can you think of anything else you need to know about Strahd or... Are you in the presence of it while you're asking this? No, I would assume we're at we're okay. outside of the okay. crypt. I'm just asking, because we'll answer. So we're back outside now, so I can Oh, well, I mean, I guess I would have poked my head back in, so I guess we are technically... Okay, so what was your statement altogether? Uh, do you think there's anything else we need to know about Strahd? Or anything. <laughs> Stron von Zarevich and Sergei von Zarevich are the sons of King Barov von Zarevich. That's let's a... let's leave this here. So you have one question left. I, let's leave this here, and we take a step out. Yeah. You see. <laughs> okay. We have one question. What have you already asked? Where's the sun sword? Okay. It's in Castle Ravenloft. What in what specific crypt is the Sun Sword? Thirty-six, 36, out, of 36 out of forty. How do I dispel the Portals. sphere trap thingies? And it told me dispel magic, which none of us have. And this thing now. Well, we could ask if there's any way to dispel those. How do we dispel the portals without using magic? Or how do we get around the portals without magic? Would that be more beneficial? That might... I would say dispel magic, is what I would say. If I'm being a cynic. If... To his question? Yes. How do we get around the portals without magic? It's worth a shot. It's... In worst case scenario, it'll say you can't. But that would be the waste of the fifth question. I, if this is your opportunity, he's not here. I thought he, I thought he reconvened because this failed. Where are you? I don't know how long it would take really? for them to. Um. Well, I mean, I guess yeah. If it failed, I would have reconvened over there a little bit. Meandered. You're probably like halfway. Maybe you're about here. Okay. He's on and his I, way. I look over and just kitty him. All right. Yeah. We're wasting time again. Look, we need to figure out how to use this question. Should have just asked the question myself. Then go ask it. Okay, and I'll walk in. <laughs> Greetings, you've reached Stefan Gorgovich, first counselor of King Barov von Zarevich. We're wasting time here, you should ask a question. <laughs> and it's just like. I'm just trying to think about what in character he would ask. Because I know what I want to know, but what Rufio would want to know and what yeah. Valian would want to know are two very different things. Well, what would Valian want to know? How do we bring back the female Dusk Elves? <laughs> to bring back the female Dusk Elves, one of many ways or factors must happen either through the Greco-Roman of repopulation with one finger single female, or outside of a possible wish spell. Please, re please recharge at dawn of day. 
Great. Well, did we did we hear that? Yeah, I'm say you hear. We it. all we all went in. Yeah. Is it okay? Can I take the skull? You can take it with you. All right, I'm gonna take it with me. So with that skull, um, the property recharges at each day at dawn. Okay. Is there? A, are you gonna make a card or? I'll make is a there, card for it. Okay. Is it only about Ravenloft? Okay, we'll figure it out. I'm kind of homebrewing it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, uh, I hate to be a bother on this one, but the crypt that I went and took a look at, um, it's a little bit larger than most of the ones that we've seen, um, and the door on it is warm. It was warm? It was warm. Well, whose tomb was it? By looking at it, it almost looks like it's the tomb of a horse. <laughs> A horse? Oh. It's fucking horse. It's his, his fucking horse is in that tomb, Absidy. Oh, who's, yeah. Whose horse? What, what are you... Strahd's horse. Strahd has a nightmare horse, and it's fire and angry. Shit. Yeah, so maybe we just don't touch the horse. I don't leave, think we want that. Leave that what the nose is? I don't want to deal with those. It's a good thing that you did not open it. <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh... Sh I guess, I guess so. All right. Okay, so we've we've gone through everything. The o is there any chance that Strahd's tomb is the key? Well, we can either try going into Strahd's tomb, or we could maybe check with Casimir, see if we could draw him away from his sister for a minute, and we to see know. if he knows to spell magic. And we do not know what these two will take us to. No, no. we don't know where those ones will bring us. We haven't, no one stepped over those. We've all stepped through the same one. No, I thought Absidy went through this one. No, no, I went through the same one. That's why I ended up with he, them. Yeah, he ended up with me and him. So they do go to three different locations? Okay, right. <laughs> Role play? Oh, yeah. okay, got it. <laughs> so, our I'll say as you're talking, you kind of hear up. <clears throat> and next to Casimir, you see... This very beautiful dusk elf. Her hair is just white, and she looks very disturbed. She's in a gown that's completely torn and tattered. It looks like it's what she was buried in. And she has clutched under uh, to her breast is a, uh, a a spell book, it looks like. And she's just... And Casimir goes, We got what we came for. How are we doing on the Sun Sword? We think we found it, but we can't dispel the magic that's in front of the door. There's a magic teleportation wall. Circle. Which one? And you see him kind of crack his knuckles. There are several. Gesture over to that one. Okay. And you see him and he mutters something to his sister and you see her kind of like go to the side and he looks at you, Valiant, and nudges over to, to watch over Petrina. Well, he'll stand there, arrow ready, mm -hmm. if anything hostile. See, and you see the arcane image on this tile glow and then dissipate. There you go. Um, I just take a ball. I ha have a ball bearing and I just roll it. He said, there you go. It is I ignore him. Caution. It's still fair to test. Nobody asked you. I start walking. Valiant, he assisted us. Let them have their game. I assisted him. You did a great fucking job. I'd still be pettering around this dungeon. Dirt and I have already started walking. Okay. So you and Dirt are in front of this door, and it says above it, Gramor Nibble Knobs. Wizard Ordinaire. Nibble Knobs. Looks over at you, Tomb of a Wizard. Looks like we found it. <laughs> Valiant's in the corner goes I found it <sighs> shut up both do your strength check yeah, I'll give you the strength check advantage or yeah at advantage lucky <laughs> 16 okay you guys open and lying on a marble slab in the center of this crypt is the corpse of a man with a long white beard his skin clings tightly to his skull and bones, and he wears dusty red robes. Clutched to his chest is a wooden staff that has a brass knob on one end and a marble knob on the other end. 
And within here, uh, there are two recesses. There's one that has a marble kind of indent in the marble, and one there's a wooden side of it that has an indent. Like, close to each other? About where, a where, staff length. Okay. Looks like that staff goes there. Okay, what do we what do we want to start with first? Do we want to put the wood one in or the brass one in? It's two separate ones? It's the same staff, but they're... I would say I was going to say they're a staff length, but it looks like you have to do either or. Okay. Um... Let's do what? You still have that wand? Yeah. Should we... I think we should save it. Okay. I'm thinking... Wood? Why not? Fuck do I know? Takes the, the staff. I'm gonna... Hold it. You see him put the, uh... The wooden marble in, and you hear a click... And you hear the crypt kind of level levitate and rumble as you see slowly the slab starts to open up. The one that the wizard yeah. was on? It goes about five feet. And there's a compartment underneath. And underneath the, the slab holds a small black leather case containing three spell scrolls. And amongst it is a very gold-tinged brass handle of a sword hilt. And Dirt's kind of holding it up. He's like, all right, try to get everything out. Okay. Uh, check for check for traps. Yeah, check for traps. It's eight. Looks good to you. All right. Well, then I'll swipe it. Okay. As you swipe, you get the leather case out and you grab onto this thing, and your whole body and your your spirit just kind of radiates. You're like, <laughs> and you start taking in radiant damage. About seven points as you're holding onto this thing, and you hear in your head a very soft voice. You. Are you to be my new wielder? Do I respond? Is that... Not me. Uh, another halfling? Yep. You're not going to put me in a bag, are you? No, I'm not going to put you in a bag. I mean, I might put you in a... I won't put you in a bag. <laughs> most, most wise. And as you... Take another... <sighs> three points of radiant damage as you're just you guys like I don't know if you guys are looking at this yeah, but you see like half of his body is just it's vibrating he's actually moving between planes it looks like as he's hitting it Shit. and you just drop this sword and just clink 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 and dirt <clears throat> ah, okay is that it maybe the other side well first you pick that up because that hurts so if it hurts, why do why have the kid pick it up? It, I something tells me it's not going to hurt him. And you see Dirt pick up the sword, and for a moment his body kind of does that shake, and he steadies it. And from it, you haven't seen it since you were a young man. You haven't seen it any of this since you were a young man. As he concentrates, and you assume he hears the. Uh, the voice in his head and you see him kind of nod and he mutters something along the lines of okay this bright brilliant sunlight emits and erupts from this blade that it blinds you temporarily as you look back at it and he is just holding pure sunlight as his arm is quaking I think I found it oh I think I found it temporarily dim it I don't, I don't know how to I'm sorry I'm sorry just think of off, off, off! And as he says off, the blade... Whoosh. Carlos, he's got to pull it closer. Oh, sorry. Give me some time to sit with this. I'm going to see if I can maybe attune to it and unlock everything with it. How long does that take? An hour. Give me an hour. I think, okay. I think we could do that. And then, uh... Go ahead. We got what we came for, right? How do we still the marble side. You guys go to the crypt. I'm gonna stay here. I'll stay actually. Why don't I stay in there with you, where, where the teleportation is? Wait, I'm I'm the gonna stay in the one? crypt where you guys teleport in. I so you can get to the crypt. I feel like we're getting greedy. 
Well, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where we are right now. So we're we in are, this we are crypt. inside that yes. crypt. I'm saying go to okay. this one and okay. get to Strahd's tomb. I don't think that has anything to do with being greedy if we can destroy the coffin. With the sword? I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know if we have an hour. I don't think we do. Okay. Give me as much time as I can that I need. I would say at this point, just out of curiosity, since we are at least on the same floor, mm -hmm. do we hear any of the battling that's happening in the dungeon? Uh, about, I'll say, 20 minutes ago, you started hearing clanging. And you start hearing screams and, like, whatnot. So, yes, you do hear the battle has started a, 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 few, okay. a little bit ago. Yeah, no, I think we can all hear the noise out there, fellas. I think yeah. we gotta hurry this up. They might need us on the other side. Kyrian, they are not our people. To help, yes, but we have other things to do. Yes, but without that help, we can't replenish other people. We need to all succeed our If mission. it comes down to helping them or killing Strahd, not giving him a place to rest, what do you pick? We're doing Sh both. Let's go. And if I may, um, not to be a prick. Well, too late. Strahd has killed our women before, who said he won't do it again. Okay, but you're saying to leave and not do that. That battle is not important to me. I'd rather go to the, the sarcophagus, the casket, whatever it is, and destroy that first. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm saying we have to be mindful of yeah. time. We're talking around each other. Let's go destroy the coffin and then go. Let's go. Okay. We start walking. Dirt, so, or are they just going and dirt and I are hanging? I'm going to stay. Do you need me to stay here? No, you figure out what the fuck's going on with that thing. Okay. Do you need so we go, just, we go to the Who's the staying coffin. with him? Casimir? Or, uh... Um, leave the red shirts. I'll leave the red shirts with them. Okay. Okay. Uh, you all teleport. And you're on the top of that black marble staircase. <sighs> Kid wasn't kidding. This is eerie. Uh, Valiant. Yes. You're the one who's been here before, right? Uh huh. Lead the way. Uh, the west wall takes us back. And I haven't gone any further than that. I thought... So how, how big is... I'm, I'm kind of confused on what our size. Is it just a small tomb? Or is it a larger room? It's this? Okay. Ah! Sorry. Earthquake! Okay. Is that south? Yeah. So this wall will take us back. Take us back, and that's about as far as I've gone. Oh, that's Casimir. that's Casimir. Sorry. Is he with us? Yep. All right. That's the red shirt. Okay. Let's destroy this thing. Okay. So as you uh, appear closer to it, there are. Um, you hear the rumbling from three alcoves as you see gush, a hand pop out. Ah, oh, shit. And another hand pop out. And you see very three very attractive young Vistani, um, wary, like different, uh, like different skinned women coming out. And they are all adorned in uh, ceremonial wedding gowns as they come up to you and they look and they go oh hello I just and I kind of whisper to everyone I don't like this since we've see I've seen the succubi before I assume that that's what this is no as absidy I assume yeah. that that's what's going on I mean hello are you guests of Strahd seems that way is he coming down to get us we haven't spoken recently, but we're here, so... And you see one of them. I'm hungry. They smell... fresh. Oh, I really don't like this. Roll initiative. Oh, I didn't say it fast enough. Whew. What were you going to say? I was going to say I was going to have my staff at the ready to oh, react. Oh, so bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I'm assuming that's not what they look like. This one is. Okay. <laughs> Just picture this one. Two other Because that's what Irina was for the longest time. She was that. Uh, so let me pull up that stand. Boop, oh, boop, okay. doop, boop. All right, well. All right, I'm going to take this. This one's yours, right? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that, one, that one belongs to me. So. Okay. So let's see where we're at. We've got this one, this one, this one. Uh, okay. Uh, what'd you get? Modded 20. Fuck, sure. okay. Uh, Absidy? 12. 12, okay. Valley? 6. Okay. 15. 15. And then they got that. Okay. So that is Piotr. So I imagine Kyrian, or not Kyrian, uh, Valian is mm -hmm. up front. So which one's you? I am to your right. This one? Yes. What did you get again? Six. And what did you get again? Eight? Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Or twelve, sorry. Twelve. So... Just I don't think I would be in the front. You, went, well, you were leading them. the way. I, I was not leading the way. I told you I didn't, like, the west wall was as far as I went. And I did talk at them, but I didn't, like, move forward or anything. Right. Well, then... There you go. Yeah. Then we're just like that. That's what I would assume. Okay. Okay. Um, so it is uh, Kidian's turn. All right. Um, oh, crap. Are we really doing this right now? Doesn't seem we have a choice. All right. Um, in that case, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to close my eyes real quick. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Pull my hands in real close, tight fists, taking a deep breath, and then just let out frostbite. And I'm going to go ahead and direct it at the one specifically that said that they are they are currently hungry. Okay, so that's gonna be I'm gonna say this one. No, one to the far far. Okay, all right. Left, would sorry. would you have to take a step? With the tongue. Right now we're in front of you. Uh, it's not. It it's just range within sixty feet. Okay. So this is an emit from him. Yeah. Gotcha. It's not like you're in its path or anything like that. Thanks. So, um, <laughs> casting Frostbite, uh, that would be a, uh, uh, a constitution save. Okay. And let me see here. Let's see. So, it didn't make it. Didn't make it? Mm -hmm. All right. So that means it will take uh, nine points of cold damage. Um, and it now has disadvantage on its next weapon attack. Okay. All right. We are on to Piotr. Uh, okay. I am going to... We're doing this. So yep. I'm running. 5, 10, 15, 20. What space is she in? Is it 25? Or is it 20? 25. 25. Just like that. Uh, I'm going to... Swing with the staff across her head for a 15. Uh, 15 should hit. Yes, it hits. Okay, that swing will, ooh, will be a 4 damage. Okay. And four. then I'm going to bring the staff after I hit, mm -hmm. bring the bottom of it up to okay. hit for a second attack. That's cocked. 13. 13 does 14. not hit. Sorry, 14. Sorry, 14 does not hit. It still does not hit. Okay, and as a bonus action, I'm going to punch her in the face. <laughs> okay. Why not? Oh, shit. Such a gentleman. 16. 16 hits. That is uh, 5 damage. Okay. So five. is that 9 total? How, mu it? how much was the first hit? Yeah, that's it was 4. It's 9 total. Okay. Uh, and then that's 25. 30, 35... 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay. So as you kind of... It lets out this... Uh, uh, it is actually their turn. So we are going to... Move... 5, 10, 15... Those five, quarters are not my friend. 15, 20... Okay, so we'll move this way. So it is a multi. So it's gonna double claw 
at Absidy. So first one is going to be a 15 to hit. Would the first one be at disadvantage because of oh, it is. frostbite? That's true. Um, 10? Nope. Okay, we'll do the second nice. one. Okay, uh, 17. Hits. Okay. You take 8 points of slashing damage. Uncanny dodge to 4. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to, is that Valiant? Yes. Okay, Valiant. Okay, so we have modded 20. Hits. Okay. And 21. Hits. Okay. So those are going to be 16 points of slashing damage. As Ouch. it digs both of its claws into you. And then we have the last one with Piotr. So we have no. one. Okay. Come on, ten. No. Great. The other <laughs> one didn't hit either. So you see this other vampire spawn, and she's slashing at you, and you're like, Neo. Uh, we are at Absidy. Okay. Um, I'm going to cunning action, use object, take a ball bearing, mm-hmm. and throw it at that west wall. Okay. I want to see what happens to it. It disappears. Okay. So now I know that that's still something that we can do. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to bonus action disengage. Okay. And walk and run that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, just do 20 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, do 25. 25. And, be, and face this way. And use my action to summon my hounds. Okay. Let's get the hounds. Where would you like them? Uh, just right in front of me. Put X Y Z directly in front of me, or to the to the right of me. Uh, yeah, and then um one two yeah. The okay. Fat, the fatter one. The fatty boy. <laughs> and you see one two one two's like. <laughs> X Y is just all like. <laughs> X Y is like Poing. fierce. Gosh. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, it is now Valiant's turn. Perfect. Um, so I will go one, two, three, four. I guess I'll go back. Yeah, I think there. that's a spot. Yeah, it's a spot. Okay. So I will take. Uh, that was an opportunity attack. Yes. Uh, yes. I was. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take that. So I'll do the one. Yeah. Is this a disadvantage or was it only the next attack? No, no. Uh, first off, it was the other one over there oh, that okay, attacked Absidy. Uh, secondly, it's only the first attack after it's been done. Oh, Thirteen, miss. Okay. So Valian will ha- uh He's had his longbow ready. Mm-hmm. Uh, he will use his bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. On the one that uh, attacked him. So it's going to be the center one. Yes. And. He's going to fire a longbow shot at it. That is not going to do it. That's an 11. 11, no. Uh, I will attack again. That is a uh, modded 19. That'll hit. Great. Uh, 1d8 plus 4. The d6 for Hunter's Mark. Uh, 11 points of damage. Very nice. And is the other one technically within five feet of her? Uh, no. Okay. There's a five feet space between them. Wouldn't that mean that they are within five feet Uh, of one another? No, he's at ten. Okay. All right. Uh, and that will end my turn. Okay. Uh, so now we are at, uh, Casimir's turn. Uh, you he- see his hands, uh, kind of light up, and he takes point next to you. And he's gonna kind of be back to- So we're doing ice. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Ice and water. Well, good thing I have a ring of cold. And you see him, uh, he's gonna cast Ice Storm. Um, he is going to cast it right in front of these two Mamma Jammas. So they're going to have to make, uh, deck saving throws. Okay. Alright, that one's alright. Uh, let's see here. So they're going to take... Uh, 20. 
24. Mm -hmm. So one of them failed, one of them got it. So it's going to be overall a bludgeoning and cold damage together of 24 points. So one of them got full, one of them got half? Mm Mm-hmm. I have mine here. May I have it? Thank you. Is it something that stays up, or is it something that drops? It's something that drops okay. after. Oh, so it's an instant? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then it is uh, Kirian's turn. All right, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, use my movement to get um, 35 feet. I could probably get over to about here. 25, and 30. Then, so 35 will put me right there. And uh, what I'm going to do is you're going to just see me hold out my hand. And I'm going to go ahead and just shake it three times. And then you're going to see that I have an ice shard in my hand. And I've cast ice knife. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and attack the one. Um, oh, shit. I hit it too many times. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see it doing anything. Um, I've cast ice knife. And I'm going to go ahead and attack the one that you put Hunter's Mark on. Okay. Center. Yeah. Um, so uh, that is an attack roll. And that is an 18 to hit. 18 will hit. Okay. And then let me go ahead and bring that up real quick. And uh, I'm going to need you to go ahead and make a uh, uh, deck saving throw for me as well. Deck save. Okay. Uh, I got a 23. Okay, uh... Fail. Alright, so yeah, that is... No, that's a success on it. Okay, so that means you just take six points of piercing damage. Okay, that's so good. Alright. And you just see this ice spike just hit in the back of this vampire spawn as it kind of turns to dodge it. But you see it scrape along its back. And you notice that after the ice spike hits it, the ice spike explodes. So, just so you know paint the scene okay right. De- details <laughs> um Piotr yes sir uh seeing that this one came over and attempted to attack me I'm going to take this staff and uppercut it between the legs I'm- oh no this is female so yeah no. that's probably not a good idea no she might enjoy it too much upside the head <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry I went there natural one okay oh. You're using the staff? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> staff gets stuck. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Where, where were you hitting I, it? I went upside the head. So upside the head. You kind of... You got those sweaty palms, man. As soon as, like, she ducks, your staff just kind of goes... Whing, and it kind of clatters. Not this one. Oh, no, I thought it was this one. So like, you the, currently do not have a staff. And I'll say it is about... Here. Okay. Um... I will take my second attack, seeing that it slipped out, to use that momentum and roundhouse kick her okay. upside the ribs. Use it. 17 plus yeah, that'll 6. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Yes. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 points. 8 points of damage. Okay. And then, uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to kick back. Again, mm-hmm. at her. It's, uh, 18. 18 will hit. Oof, 9 damage. 9, nice. Okay. And then bolt it for the staff. Okay. Go 5, 10, 15. Is it... She's going to use her reaction to... Even on mobile? Did you... I hit her. I attacked at her. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Yep. Mobile will, uh... 20... Did I pick up the staff if I did I'll that? say you'll be able to pick up the staff by the time you get there. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. <laughs> okay. So you just... Fuck my staff. Nope. Got it. Uh, and is now... Is the Naruto sp- run? <laughs> <laughs> it's the spawn turn. And the spawns are... Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> so this one is going to move 5, 10, 15... Didn't even do nothing to you. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Mate. What's what's the um the the circle on that one? Uh, Hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do the cast me around. 
because they're both at Casimir. So we'll do battle hit. Oh, I'm. I didn't realize it was right there to you. <laughs> it's okay. I, I went back down my own. So. So we'll see where we're at. How much is it for him? Ooh, okay. Okay. So you see him, and he kind of takes bites for our slashes from one of them, and he's just like fending both of them off. Okay, little help would be nice. Uh, and then this one is going to go after uh, Kirian. Let's see here. So that one is 22. Uh, 22 hit. hits, yeah. And then that's higher than 22. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and assume that that hits. Okay, so we'll just do... Uh, I'll just do the flat damage. So you take 16 points of slashing damage. Oh boy, alright. Welcome to the club. Okay, we are at Absidy's turn. Alright. Um, how do cones work? You're gonna hit Casimir. They move out like this. Okay, so if it's from this point, is it one and then three? Mm-hmm. Okay, but it stops. If it's a 15-foot cone, it would stop at three squares. Right. Right? Okay. So I'm going to have XYZ run 15 feet away. So, five, 10, 15, so there. Yep. Uh, yep. yep. Because that won't hit five, Casimir 10, 15. because it stops at 15 feet. Okay. So it's going to be a little warm. But that's about it. So that is X, Y, Z. So let me roll. Uh, oh, okay. I don't roll. Um, each creature in that area must make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Okay. They got to make dex checks. So both of them? Yep. Okay. And let's see what they're... Okay. Go ahead. Why do I have Jesus Christ. 6, 12... 14, uh, 16, 17, 17 plus 5, 22. 22. Nice. Okay. So it's that full on a... Full on succeed, half on fail. So you see both of them kind of dip, but they both get burnt on it. Okay. Uh, does Hunter's Mark also... It's, it's only for me. you? Okay. Um, one, two, as the cone, as the fire is just... <laughs> at... And you hear... The, ah! One two is running up, jumping straight. Yes, yeah, straight, and just bites this one here. Okay, go ahead. Is a twenty-four. Twenty-four hit. D eight. That'd be a two plus three. Oh, plus uh, two d6 fire damage. So five plus. So. F so five plus five, five of which is fire damage. Okay, so ten. Ten. Okay. So, as you see it kind of chomp down, you start seeing the str ends of the dress start to be uh, engulfed in flame as one, two, just kind of... Okay. Uh, it is... I'm, I'm still going. You're still going, sorry. As, as he does that, I pull out my short bow mm -hmm. to shoot at that same uh, spawn, whatever it is. Go for it. What, do I get... Only they have pack if they're close, so that'd right. be... I gotta look it back. I think that's 15. Would it be an ally adjacent? No, I wouldn't say so. Oh. No, no, I, I will get I get sneak attack, but I won't get... Ranged. Or yeah. you don't get advantage. Oh, yeah. got it, got it, got it. So, yeah, 18. 18 Or hits. Uh, 17. 17 hits. Okay. You... I have too many dice to manage. Hey, that's not a bad problem Oh, it's really have. not. <laughs> Did I do the right... No, wrong one. That is six, three, two, five. So 13. 16. Six, three is nine, nine 11, two, 11, five, 16. 16. 16. 16. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Another 16. And you have your movement. I just killed a spider crawling by my thing. Nice. Um, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> uh, no, no movement for me. Okay. It's looking ho horse. Uh, Valiant. I've got you, sir. And uh, I'm gonna move uh, like two or three spaces. Diagonal. Yes. Um, yeah, that's fine. And I will fire at the one that's in front of me, not the one Absidy just hit. So the hunter's marked one. Uh, yes. Okay. That is a twenty-five. Yeah, that'll hit. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, seventeen points of damage. Seventeen to middle. 
Okay. Yes. Uh, so I have an ability. It's called Horde Breaker. And mm -hmm. once on each of my turns, when I make a weapon attack, I can make another attack with the same weapon against a different creature that is within five feet of the original target and within the range of my weapon. Shoot at the other one. Sweet. Uh, 16. 16 will hit. Fantastic. It scared me from my point of view. It looked like a one. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, okay. Oh, <laughs> Don't worry. He's got other bow strings. <laughs> I do. I do have other bow strings. Uh, that's six points of damage. Okay. And I will fire again at the far one because it was the one that was hurt. Not the one with Hunter's Mark. The weak one. Yes. Uh, 22? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, seven more points of damage. That's on the button. You <gasps> drop that one. It's gonna go straight to his head. Thank you. He'll look at Absidy and, and nod. And then uh, I have more movement, I think. Yeah, yeah you can move ten. Ten? Yeah. I'll, I'll move twenty-five back into that Diagonal. corner. Yes. Twenty-five. Yeah. Thirty-five. Yes. And that ends my turn. Okay. It's going to be uh, Casimir's turn, and you see him. He's going to smack his hands together. You see the ice kind of and frost uh, dispel from his uh, hands. And he looks at you, Valiant. Good work. And he's going to misty step through him. <laughs> I've done that before. And he's going to turn over to the coffin. I'm going to work on this. Figure out the rest of them. And it is now uh, Kidian's turn. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, hmm. Do it. Do it. Do mm -hmm. it. Do it. I know what I'm thinking it is. I, I think we're on the same page. I don't know what you guys think it is. I want you to shape shift. Be shift. Be uh, something. Do you want to do that one now or later? I don't know. I mean, you can, I can do it a bunch I of times. can do it twice. Um, oh, yeah. That's one of my options, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh... The only thing is that it's my action, so that means that's all uh, I can do. Maybe maybe don't do it. <laughs> what, what I'm I going... Okay. Uh, now, what I'm going to go ahead and do here is, um... I'm going to go ahead and reach into my pocket and pull out a small piece of straight iron. Okay. And I'm going to attempt to cast Hold Person on the vampire, so that'll be a wisdom save. Okay. Which one? Uh, this one right in front of me. Okay. You see it start to seize up, and it's... She's fine. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Um, in that case... Oh, you blow me, cunt. That's <laughs> pretty much what it is. Um, fucking hell. All right. I'm going to need a little bit of assistance. I like how flustered you get. <laughs> Short's like... And you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I feel like it, can't, it makes sense to play a polar opposite, so... Yeah. Okay. It is Piotr's turn. I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. And try to. Fucking light this candle. I'm gonna grab her head, mm -hmm. just unarmed strike, and try to bash it against the wall. Okay. 22. Yeah, you got it. Seven Bash. damage. Okay, seven. And you hear a satisfying, like, as it comes back, and her face is. Her beautiful face is all fucked up now. But she's still up. She's like, uh, I'm going to do it again. Okay, go ahead. Roll. Ten. Ten. She, you, you kind of slip as her your grip kind of undoes and she readies herself. So as I slip, I'm going to use my bonus action to use my other hand and push it again. Okay. Against the wall. Go ahead. Twenty-four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Damage. Six. Yep. And that's on the button. So, so you see this face just, you hear the satisfying crunch and squelching as this uh, vampire spawns faces. Just put it over there. Okay. Bye. Uh, <laughs> so I dropped her. That was what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And that's all I could do. Okay. Oh, you're going to do it. It's my bonus action, yeah. Oh, what the fuck is It is the spawn's turn. Uh, the spawn is going to... Fuck. Everyone's a threat. Um, <laughs> it's going to attempt to... It's going to claw and 
bite at uh, Kidian. Right. So we'll do the claw first. Okay. Nine? That's, Nine. that's a miss. All right, let's do the bite. Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, and then does a ten hit. Uh, no, that does not hit. Okay. So you see, like, the slashing, and you're like, okay, it's like a dog. And it's, uh, that's the end of that turn. All right. Absidy. Okay. I have a thing. I'm going to use my oh, movement to <laughs> run up to XYZ. Okay. So I believe that's 20 feet. And 15? 15. Yep. So use my last bit of movement to jump on his back. Okay. Run the, time. Run the 50 feet to get to this one. Now, I don't know how mounted combat works. Mm -hmm. Do I does Absidy attack? Does the is it a bite? Like, what do I do here? here? What is something you're uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be you, but so I want I want a vicious like jump uh, bite. I'll let you guys work together and I'll be at uh, advantage. As you ride on, it's been how many years since you've boar raced? I don't know how old I am, so many. You feel that rush in your heart again as you latch on and everything goes silent as you see Kitty and like, oh, customers like, oh, and you just feel that euphoria of riding again. And you and XYZ are one. Your minds are like linked. And as you're like ready to pounce, he's already up in the air. Go ahead and make your attack at advantage. Uh, eight, 17. That'll hit. And then I'll let you do your, like, rapier or whatever the fuck you're doing. And, and a bite. I'll let uh, you do both. I mean, and a bite? Okay. Yeah. It's engaged with me, too, so he probably gets sneak attack. Yeah, he'll get sneak attack. Uh, oh what's the bite will be 1d7, not 1d7, 1d8. 1d7? <laughs> yeah. And then 2d6s? Okay. That's 10, 16... 22, 30, 32. 32? 32? Okay, that's a good hit. All right, it's still up, but it is very surprised. Uh, okay, bonus action, since I use my rapier to attack with my mm -hmm. my uh, dagger. Mm -hmm. Do I still get advantage? It doesn't matter, not 20. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll the fucking damage, Josh. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, roll twice, is that? Yeah. Imagine if it was the Five. first one. Five. Okay. Oh, right. That would have been oh, insane. Oh my god. <laughs> you would have killed it. Um, I think that's safe to say. Uh, I think you still have. I mean, if it matters, you have ten movement left. Um. I mean, he still has another dog. <laughs> also you, can, true. Can he make it? Five. Ten. Fifty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dope. One, two, three and little fucking bite. And sweet potato just starts booking. <laughs> <laughs> She's like. At 20. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Get, yeah. him <laughs> Get him out now. <laughs> Go ahead. No one suspects sweet potato. Uh, two plus I six, eight, him. ten, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Twenty-four. And that's the doubling? Yeah. Okay. Looks weak. <sighs> Still not dead. Valiant. Oh, I get to go. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, my bonus action, I'll move Hunter's Mark on to her. Uh, and I will fire a shot with my arrow bow thingy. 21. I'll yeah. Let another one go. Natural 18. It's it's dead now, but how would you like to kill it? Uh, I want both arrows to go through the head and then out the eyes. Okay, and you see this gruesome like as it's like ah, and it just dies. You're all amongst this tomb of Strahd, and Casimir's working on the tomb. Okay. If you bring my sister in here, we might be able to destroy this thing together. You guys need to start going towards the Berserkers. You want us to leave you? I die down here, I die down here, but no use of you all just standing around here. So let, let me stay and help you. Valiant. I don't want anything to happen to you, any of you. 
What's good of a king if he doesn't have a people? Go on. As you wish. And you see him and he's starting to cast Fireball. You better hurry up. Okay. I drop the the hounds. Mm. And I and I say thank you, Casimir, for everything. As I run to mm-hmm. the, the wall yeah. to get out. Okay. I follow and, and what I do is um when he did that, I caught one of the eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I want to throw it at Valiant and say, Good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Squatch. So you all kind of go through, and from the bottom of here, you hear a massive fireball, and you hear a massive explosion. Originally, he wanted his sister there, but you guys all kind of go into the tomb, and Dirt's kind of concentrating on this. He's like in a trance. He's not even looking at you. His eyes are glazed over, and the two red shirts are like, he's just been like this the whole time. Alright, you should be about done then. We gotta go. Do they watch over the kid while he does this? Yeah. Okay. You watch, make sure he's um, okay. Petrina has her book, she's like, what do you want me to do? Yep. Where's Casimir? He wants to see you. Well, Through there. Yeah. Y- yeah, yes. That already happened, didn't it? He wants to see her. And you see her go through the the chamber. Do we hear anything after she goes in? Not really. Well, we heard the boom, so I'm just asking. You're fine. Okay, well, I think at the... So Dirt's, Dirt's just in Dirt. his own. We have to go. Yeah. If, if we pick him up, DM, will that stop his concentration? Yeah. Okay. All right, someone needs to guard him. The two they're gonna they're the, going to stay with him. Red shirt. Yes. Yep. Okay. We have to go. Let's go. Right. I follow. You guys book, and as you're booking, you hear like, "Hold, men, hold!" And you hear Shark scre- uh, screaming at the rest, and you hear clanging of armor and squelching. As we will end right there, and we'll move on to the berserkers. Whew. One down. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, vampire Holy shit. death. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Holy shit, buck balls. That was fun. Go to the dungeon. Dungeon. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Woo. Bye.